Chapter 2361 Confidence? No need translator. Born to be the messenger from the divine families departed after saying that, but they left behind a jade talisman. K. Yuzhu handed it to Long Chen. Long Chen saw that it was a soul jade talisman. Entering it with his spiritual strength, he saw a map. The entrance to the divine families is actually near the ancient battlefield. Long Chen was startled. The ancient battlefield was what separated the eastern Xuan region and the southern Xuan region. However, most people chose to go around the martial heaven sea ring if they wanted to travel between the two regions. When Long Chen had gone to attend the Skywood Divine Palace's Jade Lake pageant, he had passed through that region. But that path was very dangerous, and if he hadn't been pressed for time, he wouldn't have gone that route. Long Chen had been thinking about going to the Divine Families to see Elder Long and ask about the Starfield Divine World. Currently, the Dragonblood Legion was in seclusion refining the Immemorial Essence Blood. Only he was free. After saying goodbye, Long Chen set off. However, he didn't go to the Southern Xuan region immediately and went to see Zheng Wenlong instead. When he arrived, Zheng Wenlong handed him 17 precious medicinal ingredients that he had asked for. He also gave Long Chen some news. Pill Valley had started to sell 12th tier medicinal pills. This news wasn't particularly surprising to Long Chen. Pill Valley had always been a mysterious existence that had never revealed their full power. Yu Ziaoyan was a crafty schemer. Pill Valley's foundation had been built up over countless years, and now they were only starting to expose what was beneath the surface. Now that they were selling 12th tier pills, which were priceless commodities, they intentionally spread the word as a show of power. Of all the people Long Chen had met in Pill Valley, the only one he believed had the power to refine 12th tier pills was the Pill Fairy. But Long Chen judged that those pills were not personally refined by her. As Pill Valley's number one expert, she should be entirely focused on increasing her cultivation base, not wasting her precious time on refining pills. These pills were most likely from their ancient stock, and their quantity should be limited. The Pill Valley only spread word of this to prove that they were supreme when it came to medicinal pills. Long Chen, if you hadn't mentioned them, I wouldn't have even believed that 12th tier medicinal ingredients existed in this world. They are all extremely rare. I did my best, but I could only gather this much, said Zheng Wenlong. It wasn't that Zheng Wenlong wasn't powerful enough, but simply that medicinal ingredients on this level had long since vanished from the martial heaven continent. The ones that he had found came from the treasuries of some extremely ancient sects, and some of those sects hadn't even known about them. They had flipped through their treasuries in order to find these ingredients. Fortunately, Long Chen had told Zheng Wenlong the characteristics of the ingredients, resulting in him finding an extra two. However, whether those were really the right ingredients remained to be determined. If not, he could only accept the loss. Of course. Long Chen had said to accept anything Zheng Wenlong deemed believable. If they were fake, Long Chen would be the one losing money. He would rather Zheng Wenlong didn't waste his time on that kind of thing. Right now, money wasn't important as time was of the essence. Long Chen said his thanks and accepted the ingredients. Although there was still not a single 12th tier pill he could refine, as time passed and he gathered more ingredients, he would eventually be able to refine a few. If he really couldn't wait any longer, he would have to think of some way of substituting some of the ingredients. Although the medicinal effect would plummet, it was better than nothing. From Zheng Wenlong's place, Long Chen sat through transportation formations to the southern Xuan region. During this time, he found that the martial heaven continent's atmosphere was dead. People had become depressed. A sovereign had yet to appear. So they felt that their hopes of surviving the dark era were extremely low. Some had even lost the motivation to keep living. They weren't interested in doing anything. Chaos had erupted in some places from the pressure, but it had quickly been suppressed by the large powers. People were growing crazy from the stress. Quite a few people ran over when they saw Long Chen passing. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen. Do you feel like we will be able to pass this dark era? The fact that Long Chen had appeared in a transportation formation drew quite a disturbance. Countless experts ran over, surrounding him. Their eyes were all locked onto him, flickering with hope. 
More and more people surrounded him until the transportation formations were blocked. Long Chen couldn't leave even if he wanted to. Why would you ask me this? Asked Long Chen with a smile. We, we want to know if there's any point in trying. After all, a disciple only in the life star realm side. You truly don't need to work hard any longer, said Long Chen. His reply extinguished the spark of hope within them. Was there no hope for the martial heaven continent? All of you have lost the heart of a martial artist. When the fighting starts, you won't even be qualified to enter the battlefield. The martial heaven continent's victory or defeat will have nothing to do with you. So you can all do whatever you want until you die, said Long Chen. He began to making shooing motions with his hands to open a path. One person asked, Do you mean that there's still hope for the continent? Of course there is. Otherwise, why wouldn't I be lazing at home instead of rushing around like this? I'm busy working, so get out of the way. You can all just give up, because in this world, you can only live for yourselves. I have other people counting on me, so I have no choice but to work. Long Chen pushed his way through the crowd. Long Chen's words were like a wake-up call. During this time, some pessimists had been constantly spreading fake news around to draw people down, casting a shadow on their hearts. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen, what should we do? A young woman suddenly planted herself in Long Chen's way, looking at him with hardened eyes. Either work hard on cultivating so that you can fight alongside us, making you one of the nameless heroes who sacrifices themselves for the martial heaven continent, or just wait for others to decide your fate for you. If we win, you can tell your descendants that their ancestor was trash who was either a coward who feared death or someone too weak to even step foot on the battlefield, said Long Chen. For a moment, everyone was silent. Even powerful people could become ordinary people under the immense pressure that they were under. But Long Chen's words struck many of them in their weakest parts. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen, I will definitely work hard on cultivating so that I can fight alongside you one day. Even if I die, I won't frown, said the young woman decisively. Long Chen looked at her cultivation base. She had reached the Nether Passage realm, but her foundation was shaky. She was definitely a wild cultivator, the poorest of all cultivators. Her combat power was very ordinary. She almost looked like a tomboy. Long Chen patted her on the shoulder. A low cultivation base can be cultivated. Bad talent can be made up for. But bravery is something impossible to be gained. It can be the foundation upon which a peerless expert is built. I have a medicinal pill here for you that can change your fate. But whether that would be a good thing or not. No one knows. Long Chen gave the woman a tribulation pill. Quite a few startled cries rang out amongst those with great learning of medicinal pills. Top grade tribulation pills were things that could drive people crazy during these turbulent times. Many people grew greedy, but with Long Chen present, they didn't dare to move. The tomboyish girl was a wild cultivator who didn't recognize the grade of this pill. Seeing as it was a gift from Long Chen, she took it preciously. Eat it. Otherwise, after I leave, you won't live longer than three breaths, said Long Chen. For something so precious, people would definitely go crazy from greed. With the dark era about to descend, everyone had become crazier. Killing people for treasures was surprisingly common during this time. The young woman swallowed the pill. In that instant, heavenly Tao energy whirled around her, and a manifestation appeared behind her. Empyrean she was just a rank 8 celestial. Now, she became an Empyrean, and with the manifestation starting to awaken, heavens, what kind of pill was that? Startled cries rang out, they felt like they were going crazy. This girl who hadn't seemed particularly outstanding or lucky had actually won Long Chen's favor and instantly soared. The young woman was also dumbfounded. She had thought that it would just be a pill to stabilize her foundation, but it instantly promoted her into an Empyrean. Her mind was blank. Many thanks, senior apprentice brother Long Chen. I, the girl knelt but Long Chen grabbed her. No need to thank me. Without this pill, you might have been able to survive. But now, once you step into the battlefield, your chances of surviving are very low. I'm not afraid. Even if I have to die, I have to die on the battlefield. If I kill one invader, I'll break even. Killing two would be a profit, said the woman. 
Hearing that, quite a few people were impressed by her bravery. Many of the large men lacked the bravery of this one woman. Long Chen patted her on the shoulder and stepped onto his next transportation formation. Senior Apprentice Brother, do you have any confidence toward the Battle of the Dark Era cried out someone suddenly. Confidence? No. I never need such a thing. I feel like instead of worrying about me, you should worry about my enemies. Long Chen vanished, but his confident words hung in the air. Some of the experts present felt like they had finally seen some light in these dark times. Senior Apprentice Brother Long Chen Must Win Chapter 2362 Giving Proof Translator Born to be looking at those lost experts, Long Chen had no thoughts of mocking them. The heights they were standing at were different, so the things they saw were different as well. If he were standing in the same position as them, perhaps he wouldn't be much better than them. These people were fated to not be the main characters of this era, so they could only watch. Victory meant that they had borne witness to history. Defeat meant vanishing like a wisp of smoke. After a few more transportation formations, Long Chen arrived in the southern Xuan region, but he was still quite far from his target. Hence, he got into a flying boat. A spatial barrier appeared ahead soon, with experts of the divine family standing in front of it. They were wearing robes different from the armor of the heavenly dragon Legion. It lacked some grandeur but seemed more scholarly in exchange. Hold it. Who are you? Report your name or be executed ordered someone amongst the guards of the divine families. Long Chen. You are Long Chen. That person looked Long Chen up and down and asked. Do you have any proof? Long Chen slapped him. Sending his teeth flying. Weapons came flying out of their sheaths. Those experts instantly entered a battle-ready state. What are you all so nervous about? This senior wished for proof. So I gave it to him. This technique of mine is something no one else can imitate. Across the entire martial heaven continent, only I possess this divine ability. This is definitely the best proof, said Long Chen nonchalantly. Long Chen refused to believe that these people didn't recognize him. First, they demanded him to state who he was. Then they asked for proof? That was clearly making things hard on him intentionally. The divine families had sent word that he would be coming. So how could they not tell the guards? Hence, Long Chen could tell that these people were trying to give a blow to him. But regretfully, that was the wrong choice. You, the expert that had been struck pointed at Long Chen, his finger trembling. He wanted to attack with the sword in his hand, but he didn't dare to. At the same time, he refused to just accept things as they were. He glared at Long Chen, not knowing what to do. Oh, do you need more proof? If you still feel that you can't be sure that I'm Long Chen, then, Evil Moon suddenly appeared in Long Chen's hand. In that instant, a murderous aura locked onto that expert. It felt like the gates of hell had been opened. The air became saturated with a feeling of death. If you don't believe me, I can show you one of my saber techniques. It just so happens that those techniques are also unique to me. Long Chen slowly raised Evil Moon, his aura condensing. That expert, with a third step nether passage cultivation base, could not remain standing in the face of Long Chen's saber. His knees struck the ground. Only after his knees struck the ground did he recover slightly, and he hastily twisted to the side, resulting in him sitting instead of kneeling toward Long Chen. Are you prepared? I'll give you your proof. No, no need. I believe that you are Long Chen. You can enter, cried that expert. You don't want proof, asked Long Chen, seemingly confused. No, how about I give you some anyway? I wouldn't want the divine families to look down on me for not following the rules. I don't mind giving you a show of my saber techniques, said Long Chen. That expert turned green. If that saber fell toward him, would he have any chance of surviving? The barrier suddenly opened, revealing a path through. Long Chen smiled and put Evil Moon away. Many thanks. Long Chen patted his butt and walked through the opening. Within a palace, Elder Long watched the scene playing out on the wall. This Long Chen has no taboos. Even if he wants to beat a dog, he has to see who the master is first. Does he not know this? Other than Elder Long, there was another old man who was a heaven elder. Long Chen smart. He realized long ago that we were using him against the Yi family. If he made a concession here, 
he would have to make more concessions in the future. If that happened, there would also be no value in using him. Now, he has the support of the Long family no matter what he does. If he causes trouble, the Long family will help him clean it up, said Elder Long. Are you not afraid of being unable to control him? The other elder frowned. Control? Why would we have to control him? This is a mutually beneficial cooperation with no one controlling the other. Long Chen is quite extreme in this regard. He will not allow anyone to control him. How outlandish. He came from some little secular empire and somehow reached this level without his character changing at all. That kind of character is rare. It makes me think of another person. But he was even more marvelous than Long Chen. Unfortunately, the heavens toy with people. If it weren't for him, our Long family wouldn't have been forced into such a state. Pay attention to your words. Elder Shua, that is taboo, barked Elder Long his, expression sinking. Elder Shua nodded. I know, I only said it because there's only the two of us here. If it weren't for that matter, would our Long family have to be so passive? Now, it seems that the way the head handled it Elder Long waved his hand, interrupting him. That's enough. Do not bring up this matter again. It is a taboo of our Long family, and if the head hears it, it will be disastrous for you. After so many years, there's no point in placing blame. The important thing is whether or not we can return to the throne as the leaders of the four divine families. This will be our last chance. Aeotian is our greatest hope, but the other three families are also watching like tigers. Right now, the best thing is to divert as much of their attention away, with Long Chen being the best target. That's why we have to do our best to raise him. The stronger he is, the more beneficial it is to us. Elder Long continued looking at the scene portrayed before him and clenched his fists. He trusted his vision. Space twisted around Long Chen, and he found himself in a world of abundant spiritual chi. Faint mist hung on the flowers along the path. The most shocking thing was that the laws of the heavenly deos were a bit different here than in the martial heaven continent. However, he wasn't able to tell what aspect was different about them. The laws of the heavenly deos are comparatively more complete in this place. If you refine pills here, it will be twice as fast with half the effort, said the moon and star refining furnace. So that's the case. Long Chen suddenly realized that it was true. It seemed that the laws here were a bit stronger. Wait, what do you mean more complete? Are you saying that the laws on the martial heaven continent are incomplete? The martial heaven continent has been badly damaged including the heavenly deos. Even here, the heavenly deos are still damaged. It's just that they're a bit better off than on the martial heaven continent, explained the moon and star refining furnace. Long Chen suddenly asked Devil Moon, Did you know as well? Why didn't you say anything? I am not so stupid, snorted Evil Moon. The moon and star refining furnace fell silent. Clearly, Evil Moon was saying that it was too talkative. Evil Moon had known about this matter and hadn't told Long Chen to avoid adding any extraneous karma. For Long Chen to know such matters was meaningless at this time. It would only bring more variables into his future. The moon and star refining furnace had just awoken so it didn't know there were so many taboos, resulting in it directly saying these things. After Evil Moon's indirect scolding, it also fell silent. Moon refiner, sorry. If there's anything restricted like this in the future, you don't have to tell me, said Long Chen. Even item spirits had feelings, and the moon and star refining furnace had only told him because of good intentions. It wasn't good for Evil Moon to chide it so harshly. However, Evil Moon's character leaned very much to the vicious and sinister side, so it was natural for it to not care about other people's feelings. Long Chen could only comfort the moon and star refining furnace himself. It's fine. Senior Evil Moon's teachings are correct. I don't know much about karma, said the moon and star refining furnace Novaloon.com for it to call Evil Moon Senior. It seemed that the latter was still a level above it in terms of quality. In fact, even the demon moon furnace was a bit afraid of Evil Moon. Evil Moon's origins were not so simple. Evil Moon had never said where it came from, and Long Chen had never asked. Asking would be useless as Evil Moon wouldn't tell him. After just a few steps within this world, another barrier appeared, with another batch of experts guarding it. Long Chen, you've arrived. Who are you? Asked Long Chen. 
not recognizing this person. Haha, <laughs> I'm from the 8th Heavenly Dragon Legion. You don't know me, but I know you, said that person. He wasn't wearing the armor of the Heavenly Dragon Legion at the moment. Cough, based on the rules. Please display a token of your identity so that you can pass this checkpoint, he said apologetically. Long Chen took out the tablet that Elder Long had given him. That person confirmed it, and after a few words with the other guards, he said, Senior Apprentice Brother Long Chen, this is your first time here, so let me guide you. Many thanks. Long Chen cupped his fists, and the two walked through the opening of this barrier. They then arrived at the peak of a large mountain. That opening was actually a transportation formation. Looking around, Long Chen had yet to get a clear look at his surroundings when he noticed that everyone around him was on one knee. You don't need to be so courteous Long Chen was startled. Idiot. Senior Feng Fei is coming out. Kneel and get out of the way. Suddenly, an exasperated voice rang out. A whip crackled, aiming for his face. Chapter 2363 Feng Fei Translator Born to be Long Chen was enraged. Was there no end to this nonsense? Did the divine families have nothing better to do? Long Chen grabbed the whip with his hand. It was made of metal and covered in tiny barbs. If it did strike someone, it would tear off a layer of flesh. A person who can make me kneel and get out of their way has yet to be born in this world, sneered Long Chen. He pulled, causing the master of the whip to come flying out. It was a man wearing white robes. He looked young but was already at the third step of Nether Passage. The white-robed man hadn't expected the black-robed man in their way to be so brazen as to actually attack, courting death. As he was pulled in, he unleashed a kick at Long Chen's face. His previous attack with the whip was not a killing blow, but this kick clearly showed that he didn't care if Long Chen lived or died. Long Chen, don't, he, shouted the warrior of the Heavenly Dragon Legion accompanying him. He had a knee on the ground just like everyone else. Long Chen didn't wait for him to finish talking. His left foot was an axis as his right foot whipped through the air at that person's jaw. Despite moving second, his attack landed first. The white-robed man was startled and hastily blocked with his hand. As a result, he was sent flying. However, the surprising thing to Long Chen was that he was so powerful that his arm wasn't broken as Long Chen had expected. The whip left the white-robed man's hand and Long Chen actually swung it at him while holding the tip. His expression didn't change, but the power of his astral spaces began to circulate into the whip. The white-robed man felt a mix of shock and anger. Long Chen was attacking his face just like how he had aimed for Long Chen's face at the start. This was clearly intentional. His expression sank, and he grabbed his weapon. Having his weapon taken was a humiliation. However, when he grabbed the handle of his whip, he felt some energy explode within it. His arm trembled. His sleeve exploded. While his palm became bloody. With several of his fingers broken. They were identical attacks. But Long Chen had received his attack so easily. Brazen interloper. You must want to die. The white robed man's manifestation suddenly appeared behind him. And a powerful pressure cascaded down. That pressure was even greater than what the seventh commander of the heavenly dragon Legion could unleash. That startled Long Chen inside. This person looked so young, but his cultivation base and combat power were so powerful. You're the one courting death. If you still don't appreciate my kindness, I don't mind helping you achieve your dream of dying. Long Chen tossed the whip to the side and clasped his hands behind his back. He stared coldly at the white robed man. As long as the latter dared to attack, Long Chen would kill him. That gaze made the white robed man's heart shiver. His intuition was telling him that he was in danger. However, in the end, his whip lit up and attacked once more. Long Chen smiled coldly. The divine families were truly powerful. Even such a powerful third step nether passage expert could be sacrificed for him to play with. Hold it. Just as Long Chen was about to take Evil Moon out, an icy woman's voice rang out, and that made the white robed man instantly halt. The voice was as beautiful as birdsong but it also contained an icy arrogance of someone far above others. Senior, this person was so arrogant and ignorant as to block your great carriage. Please permit me to execute him as a warning to others. The white-robed man turned and bowed toward the distance. At this moment, 
Long Chen saw a golden chariot appear behind the white-robed man. It looked incredibly luxurious. The curtains were drawn, so he couldn't see who was inside. But there were hundreds of experts around it like attendants. And he saw three other white-robed men, most likely on the same level as the one he was fighting. Senior Feng Fei, please. Long Chen is from the Martial Heaven Continent and is unfamiliar with the customs of the Divine Family said the Heavenly Dragon Legion Warrior. You are Long Chen. The woman inside the carriage ignored the warrior, directly asking Long Chen. Why ask a question when you already know the answer? Long Chen frowned. Just what was wrong with the people of the Divine Families? Was there a point in asking such a question? Impudence. When Senior Feng Fei asks you a question, you better answer properly, shouted one of the white-robed men standing beside the carriage. Don't shout at me. My temper's not very good. Even a dog should learn how to judge others, or once they're turned into stew, not even their master will be able to save them. Understood, sneered Long Chen. Long Chen was most irritated with dogs like this who shouted from the side before their masters could even say anything. It gave him an urge to slap them all to death. You. Everyone's expressions changed. The attendants of the carriage were all filled with killing intent. As long as the woman gave the order, they would pounce and tear him to pieces. Just as the rumors say, you really are a dung-covered rock. Irritating and hard. Since this is your first time in the Divine Families and you don't know the rules, I won't quibble with you. Let's go. I have more important matters. The white-robed man glared at Long Chen, indicating to him to just wait, before returning to his procession and leaving. When the carriage passed by Long Chen, through the window's light muslin, he saw a faint figure. He just saw an outline, but it still gave off a feeling of immense beauty. That entire procession entered the transportation formation. The fluctuations of the transportation were particularly intense. From how intense they were, it seemed that they weren't going to the Martial Heaven continent. The procession vanished to an unknown location. Only once they were gone did the surrounding experts stand. The Heavenly Dragon Warrior was covered in sweat. That had clearly given him a bad fright. It's my life. And I wasn't afraid. So what were you so afraid of? asked Long Chen. The warrior bitterly smiled. You don't know, but Senior Feng Fei is an extremely terrifying existence. If you give her a bad impression, don't expect to have a good time in the Divine Families. Let's go see Elder Long. The two of them left. Only when there was no one else around did he whisper. Senior Apprentice Brother Long Chen. Are you aware that people are split into four ranks amongst the Divine Families? What four ranks? The first rank is the main bloodlines, the second is the collateral relatives, the third is the branch families, and the fourth are those outer branches hidden within the martial heaven continent. Although we heavenly dragon warriors might look mighty to the outside world, in truth, we're only from the third rank, sighed the heavenly dragon warrior. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen, you cannot tell anyone that I told you this, don't worry, I'm not so talkative. So people like you are only of the third rank? I don't understand. Why do the divine families have to split people up like this? Is that really something good? Asked Long Chen. Long Chen truly didn't quite understand. Weren't such classifications only going to breed resentment and conflict? For third rankers like us, we are from the branch relatives and have impure bloodlines. As for the outer branches, they aren't even related. They just have the name. The second rankers have purer bloodlines, but it is the main bloodlines that are the purest, and the people you just encountered were from there. Those experts all have the power of commanders. As for the one inside the carriage, that was Feng Fei. She is exceptional even amongst the main bloodlines. They are going hunting within the forbidden region of the ancient battlefield, and only experts on Feng Fei's level are qualified to go there. Anyone else would just be sending themselves to their deaths. Even the heavenly dragon warrior had an expression of worship when he spoke about Feng Fei. Long Chen had an urge to ask what she looked like, but he swallowed that back down, asking that wasn't important. The two of them walked for an incense stick's worth of time before arriving at another transportation formation, one that was even larger and had four gates to the north, east, west and south. The heavenly dragon warrior led him through the south gate. The divine families are composed of four powers, 
while we of the Eighth Legion belong to the Long family. As for the Yi family, I don't need to explain much. The two families are constantly fighting. As for the other two, it's not for me to say. You can discuss it with Elder Long, said the Heavenly Dragon Warrior. Long Chen nodded to express his thanks. It seemed that this person was one of Shen Chen Feng's trusted aides, or he wouldn't have exposed so much about the Divine Families to him. Space twisted, and they appeared in a new place once more. This time, Long Chen saw a familiar face. Ha ha ha, Long Chen, we meet again. It was the 8th Commander, Shen Chen Feng. He appeared worn out, but he smiled when he saw Long Chen. Come, Elder Long had me wait for you. Shen Chen Feng took the place of the Heavenly Dragon Warrior, bringing Long Chen away on a flying boat deep within a mountain range. Chapter 2364 Deputy Elder Translator Born to be the world of the Divine Families is probably the same as the entire Martial Heaven continent. Seeing how big it is, I even suspected that this is the major world, while the Martial Heaven continent is just a minor world said Long Chen deliberately as he watched endless mountains pass by them. As expected, Shen Chen Feng said, This world of the divine families is still a minor world. You only think that the martial heaven continent is small because it is damaged. So you're saying that it is incomplete? asked Long Chen. Yes, the martial heaven continent is no longer a complete star. It is less than a hundredth of its original size, said Shen Chen Feng seemingly unaware of Long Chen's probing for information. Then that battle from the immortal era must have been one that could destroy heaven and earth, said Long Chen. It was called the Battle of the Gods, and it had caused the Martial Heaven Continent to become incomplete. After that battle, the Martial Heaven Continent had started to recover, but then the first Dark Era had come, then the second, and the third. Every Dark Era caused immense damage to the continent. Countless ancient tomes and inheritances were destroyed, lost to time. History became muddled. Now, there was no longer any way to confirm anything that had happened back then. People could only make their own judgments as to what was fiction and what was real. However, Long Chen believed that the divine families had managed to retain a complete history of what had happened. So he was probing Shen Chen Feng. Yes, the battle of the gods was apocalyptic. They were the true experts said Shen Chen Feng. However, Shen Chen Feng didn't say anything further about those gods. Theoretically, people who knew such history would like to tell a bit of it to others to prove their own learning, but Shen Chen Feng didn't. It was unknown if he didn't know, or if it was taboo to mention it. Just as Long Chen was pondering how he could extract more information from him, a range of giant mountains appeared ahead of them. They were steep and tall, looking like swords stabbing into the sky. These mountains were made of tough stone, and there were many caves built into them. Those caves all looked ancient and mysterious. The two of them were sitting in a large flying boat, but in the face of these mountains, they appeared especially small. There are a total of 99 heaven spirit peaks. Every one of them is supported by formations to make cultivating inside much faster than on the martial heaven continent. The energy of the heavenly deos is also concentrated to make comprehension easier. This is why I feel great admiration for the geniuses on the continent. You're all born at a starting line so much further back than us. But within that bitter environment, you still managed to claw yourselves out. You're the real geniuses. If you were born in the divine families and had these resources, your accomplishments would be far greater, said Shen Chen Feng. Shen Chen Feng had only reached his current level thanks to these superior conditions. The difference was immense. Long Chen smiled. I've never believed in that starting line thing. Cultivation is a marathon with no end. You run until you die. Running quickly and being ahead of others isn't necessarily a good thing. Although it makes others envious, it makes you a target as well. If you're slower, it's much more stable. You'll understand what it means to accumulate resources for success and have the power to go all out later. Such a person can soar with just one opportunity this made Long Chen think of Ling Yunzi. He was a typical case of how a flash of insight could cause someone to soar. Long Chen, that vision and wisdom is truly admirable haha, <laughs> you must be joking, right? Everyone knows that when my head gets hot, I'll jump into laughably childish traps. Shen Chen Feng laughed along with Long Chen. That was true. When provoked, 
Long Chen would easily jump into other people's traps. After laughing, he gradually grew solemn. The interior of the divine families has a very strict bloodline ranking. Long Chen, if you wish to obtain more from the divine families, you have to learn how to endure. The divine families do not like outsiders. You fought with one of Senior Feng Fei's guards, but she didn't wish to quibble with you. If she had, you would be in trouble. What kind of trouble? Would the divine families go back on their promise to me? Worse, you would be defeated and very likely killed. Oh, Shen Chen Feng sighed. You might not be able to accept it when it's just me saying that, but you will slowly come to understand just how deep the foundation of the divine families is. Feng Fei comes from the Jiang family. If it was one of the other families, the Long family would be able to support you. But the Jiang family is something even the Long family cannot provoke. That's why I felt like I should warn you. I feel like your best shot at soaring is by working together with the Long family just at this moment. The flying boat arrived halfway up a giant mountain. There was a terrace there. Long Chen, Elder Long is inside. I was planning on going after bringing you here, but I feel like I'll probably be leaving with you, said Shen Chen Feng. Long Chen didn't know what he was referring to. They walked into a large cave with a palace built inside it. Long Chen, you've been busy. You only arrived at this time. Long Chen heard Elder Long's voice as soon as he walked inside. He saw Elder Long and another elder sitting to the side, facing the central seat inside the palace. A very lean old man was sitting there. The man looked like an ancient scholar. Although he saw him right there, Long Chen was unable to sense his existence. It felt like he was one with heaven and earth. Above Nether Passage, Long Chen's heart shook. As expected, the divine families had existences above the Nether Passage realm. This old man's eyes were turbid, but in the instant that their eyes met, Long Chen felt like he had been seen through completely. This was a terrifying expert, someone who had reached a height that Long Chen could not comprehend. Long Chen, is it? Excellent. In a place with so few resources like the Martial Heaven Continent, you were able to walk to this point with your own efforts. Even throughout all of history, there haven't been many capable of doing such a thing. No wonder even a sovereign favors you, said the old man. Many thanks, senior, for your praise. This junior was only able to reach this point through luck, said Long Chen modestly. Even he had to be a bit reserved in the face of such an expert. Luck? Based on what I know, your luck has never been good. Youngsters don't need to suppress their own light. If you waste your youth on the conservativeness of the old, it's not a good thing. Sharpness should be unleashed, or it signifies the end of your martial path is drawing near the elder smiled kindly. Many thanks for senior's teachings. Long Chen cupped his fists. Long Chen, let me introduce you. This is our Long family's deputy elder. Other than the head of the family, he is the one with the greatest authority in the Long family, said Elder Long. Other than the family head, there were four deputy elders with the greatest authority. If the four of them were united, they could even overrule the family head. This particular deputy elder was the leader of the four of them, having an extremely high status. Long Chen, I know of your past. I very much like your character and how you act. With the Dark Era coming, it is time to be united against invading races. The Long family is willing to give you some help. I would like to tell you that the Starfield Divine World is to be open soon. If we're fast, it should be open in half a month. But it could take up to a month. You and your Dragonblood Legion should prepare yourselves, said the Deputy Elder. Other than that, I also wanted to see you personally. Elder Long has told me much about your excellence, and I also find you very satisfactory. Due to Elder Long praising you as a powerful force in your own right and as a leader, I would like to ask you to go to the ancient battlefield. Things have been difficult there recently. Shen Chen Feng returned to request reinforcements, and it just so happens that you are here as well. I would like to ask you to go with Shen Chen Feng there. As for what to do, I'm sure you understand. You wish for me to command the 8th Heavenly Dragon Legion? Isn't that too much? I'm not familiar with the fighters or environment or even the enemies. How am I supposed to lead them? Asked Long Chen. It seemed that the Deputy Elder was probing his commanding skills. After all, Elder Long had said that if he did well, 
the divine families would consider letting him direct the battle against the dark era. Difficult doesn't mean impossible. Only difficult things are worth doing. Go. We will quietly wait for your good news, said the deputy elder. Long Chen left, still stunned. This had come out of nowhere. He hadn't even had a chance to ask what was inside the Starfield Divine World before being given this task. Outside, Shen Chen Feng was waiting for him. Once the two of them were gone, Elder Long asked, How is this child? His eyes made me think of another wild and uncontrollable fellow. It's a pity. The deputy elder sighed, a bitter light filling his turbid eyes. Elder Long and the other elder exchanged a glance. Also thinking of that person. Chapter 2365 The Ancient Battlefield Translator Born to be haha, my prediction was right. It seems that we'll get to fight alongside each other. Seeing Long Chen come out, Shen Chen Feng laughed. Having already predicted this result, the deputy elder must have a high opinion of me. If even you couldn't resolve the problem, what am I supposed to do? Long Chen shook his head with a bitter smile. You can't put it like that. To tell the truth, I really admire your leadership skills. When I came to ask for reinforcements, I wanted the divine families to send some experts to help me reclaim lost territory, but they wanted me to handle it myself. However, due to guarding the yin yang world back then, the Eighth Legion's defenses weakened to the point that our enemies charged through, which I don't think can be blamed on us. Now we have to handle the result. So I'm quite unhappy with that. This is already the third time I've come to bother the divine families for help. And it seems that I've found the solution. I think that you're even better than those experts. We don't like their irritating faces. Said Shen Chen Feng as he brought Long Chen away. You have such confidence in me? You should know that I have no confidence at all in this. Said Long Chen. Actually, it's not as difficult as you imagine. If the Eighth Legion wished to reclaim that territory, we'd definitely be able to do it. But it would come at a terrible price. Don't you think having us sacrifice so much for something that wasn't our fault is difficult to bear? Would you do it? That's true. Whoever caused the trouble should bear the consequences, said Long Chen. Exactly. If the Divine Families had sent reinforcements, we could have taken back our territory easily. But the other three families might cause trouble if the Long family interfered in the so-called fair competition. So this matter has stalled until now. It's a nice surprise for me that you're the one I ended up getting as help after all this time, said Shen Chen Feng with a laugh. The two of them arrived at the transportation formation that Feng Fei had gone through as well. Shen Chen Feng took out a jade tablet to activate the formation. Are we going to the same place as Feng Fei as soon as Long Chen mentioned Feng Fei? The surrounding experts of the divine families glared at him furiously, unable to accept that he had called her directly by her name. No, Senior Feng Fei went into the depths of the ancient battlefield, while we're just going to the outer edges, said Shen Chen Feng. Space shuddered. Long Chen felt like his body was being wrung. Space continued to whirl around them until he was dizzy. This transportation formation is always like this. Building any kind of transportation formation through the ancient battlefield is difficult as the spatial laws there are broken. There's no way to make it steady like other transportation formations, said Shen Chen Feng. They were within the twisting space for a full incense stick's worth of time before Long Chen found himself in a desolate world. Long Chen's hair instantly stood on end. Not that far from where they came out was a giant spatial crack. The space around the crack was twisting violently. It looked like a gaping maw. From within that spatial crack, he sensed the aura of a terrifying sword Dao. This sword Dao intent remains after so many years. Long Chen was shocked. This spatial crack was clearly left from a sword but had yet to be healed even after the cleansing of the river of time. Shen Chen Feng nodded. It's pretty amazing that you can look at it directly. The first time I arrived, just looking at it left me with a headache for three months. Even now, I can't look at it directly. The rumor is that this was an attack left behind by a human master of the sword Da right before his death, and it contains his entire sword Dao. The reason the transportation formation is set up here is to temper the wills of the disciples. All the disciples who come here for the first time receive a shock to their souls from looking at it. But it is said that the worse the impact is, 
the greater it will benefit them. I don't know if that's a lie or not because I didn't feel any significant improvement after that headache Long Chen smiled. It's not a lie. The will behind this sword is a kind of inheritance. This senior left behind the pride and tenacity of his sword Dao, showing off the unyielding purity of his existence as a sword cultivator. To be injured by this will is to be infected by it. Although it won't increase your combat power, it will cleanse your heart, allowing you to more easily abandon your distracting thoughts and desires. Now that you say that, it seems that it's true. I was just a middling existence when I first joined the Heavenly Dragon Legion, and I was quite competitive and jealous of those above us. I almost got kicked out several times, but after coming here, it seems that I did grow calmer. I thought it was just the headache making me focus on recuperating, but I kept that focus on cultivation afterward too. The more he thought about it, the more he felt that Long Chen was right. He had thought that he was being punished and forced to look at it, but it was only afterward that he had started to feel great reverence for the ancient battlefield and those who had fought on it. Oh, isn't that Commander Shen? I hear you went back to ask for reinforcements again. Did you end up coming back with nothing again? Just as Long Chen and Shen Chen Fen were talking, the transportation formation behind them lit up. Two experts walked out. One of them had quite the cutting mouth. The fact that the 8th Heavenly Dragon Legion had lost their territory and been forced to the second line of defense was known by the entirety of the Heavenly Dragon Legions. Before this, Long Chen hadn't noticed it, but Shen Chen Fen had a small immortal character within the embroidered design on his chest. These two also had similar characters. There were four different colors of this character. Bronze, silver, gold, and dark gold. Bronze was for the ordinary warriors. Silver was for the squad leaders. And gold was for vice commanders. Dark gold was reserved for the commanders. These two both had the number three on their chests. Indicating that they came from the third heavenly dragon legion. The gold color indicated that they were vice commanders. The two of them were clearly intent on causing trouble for Shen Cheng Feng. The other vice commander looked at Long Chen with surprise. Little fellow, don't tell me that you're the reinforcements? You just entered the Nether Passage realm. Ha ha ha. It seems that the Long family has truly declined Shen Cheng Feng's expression finally sank. He had no choice but to accept it when others mocked him because the 8th Heavenly Dragon Legion had become a laughing stock for losing its territory. He walked away, ignoring them. However, Long Chen looked at him oddly. Do the divine families also have a lot of such idiots? Yes, as many as on the martial heaven continent Shen Chen Feng shrugged helplessly. All right then. Long Chen curled his mouth. People remained the same no matter where he went. The two of them didn't get on a flying boat. Flying boats were impacted by the unstable space and were much slower. The two of them traveled on their own. Walking past the desolate surroundings, everything was a mess. There were collapsed mountains and rubble everywhere. There wasn't the slightest air of vitality. Occasionally, spatial cracks would appear along with black holes. Suddenly, a roar came from within one of those black holes, causing Long Chen to jump. Shen Chen Feng explained, no need to panic. That sound was left behind by the ancient battle. The master of it has long since died. The battle from back then destroyed the laws of space and time. So some strange things pop up. Even the sounds ended up passing through the river of time. It's truly worthy of being called a battlefield of gods, said Long Chen. Actually, strange phenomena will appear quite often. Sometimes you'll hear shouting or bestial roaring. There have been times where people see strange things. To put it bluntly, you will encounter countless unimaginable things here. The experts of that time are not existences we can comprehend. Although there are countless dangers here, there are also countless opportunities. He, you should understand how important the ancient battlefield is just based on the fact that the entrance has always been kept under the control of the divine families. It can be said that one reason for the divine family's success is due to the ancient battlefield Shen Chen Feng smiled mysteriously. So the divine families are treating this battlefield as a big piece of meat? After being not on for so many years, there's probably not much left, said Long Chen. He, that's where you're wrong. The ancient battlefield continues to give us countless surprises. Sometimes, 
Experts will leave their inheritances within a minor world right before dying. If you can find the entrance, you can receive that inheritance. Such things are littered throughout the ancient battlefield, but they can only be found by luck. Even after all these years, the divine families have only managed to explore a portion of this place. There is also the demon race blocking us from going deeper. They are a constant disturbance. So this ancient battlefield can be considered a treasure house, but we don't have the ability to take all the treasures out. My guess is that after the Starfield Divine World is opened, the next step will be to open the ancient battlefield to the continent suddenly. Rumbling erupted ahead of them. A cloud of dust soared. Shen Chen Feng's expression instantly changed. That's the camp of the 8th Legion. They're being attacked. Chapter 2366 Bizarre Blood Ignition Pill Translator Born to be Shen Cheng Feng and Long Chen hastily rushed over, and countless large figures quickly appeared within their vision. They were fighting the Heavenly Dragon Legion. What surprised Long Chen was that while these beasts didn't look different from magical beasts, their auras were completely different. They instead seemed a bit similar to the Sea Demon race. Those beasts were gigantic and seemed to be pressing down on the Heavenly Dragon Legion. Giant arrow towers were set up in a defensive line, unleashing huge arrows. A streak of light sliced through the demonic beasts, blasting apart those struck. Suddenly, one of the demonic beasts avoided the layers of blockades to reach one of the arrow towers. Its sharp claw then slammed into the tower, almost bending it in half. Over ten of the crossbows were destroyed in one blow. That demonic beast didn't have time to unleash another attack before a dozen rays of sword light slew it. However, the destruction of that tower had created an opening within the defenses. The demonic beast seemed to have sensed it and rushed that opening. Seven of the eighteen arrow towers have been destroyed. If this continues, the second defensive line will be broken as well. Long Chen, we have to stop them. Shen Cheng Feng was already charging into the battlefield. Brothers. Stand steady, reduce the defensive line and protect the arrow towers. With a single blow of his sword, Shen Cheng Feng killed one of the powerful demonic beasts. The heavenly dragon warriors finally had a chance to breathe. A figure charged through the battlefield, with black saber light flashing. With every flash of light, one of the sea demons fell. That's Long Chen. The heavenly dragon warriors were unable to believe their eyes. How was Long Chen here? Lightning flickered beneath Long Chen's feet as he passed through the battlefield, targeting the regions where the warriors seemed to be in the most danger. Every time Evil Moon flashed through the air, more demonic beasts fell. Either they exploded in a burst of blood, or they were badly mutilated. Long Chen has also come? Haha, <laughs> now we're really fine. The heavenly dragon warriors laughed delightedly. Long Chen and Shen Cheng Feng didn't cause an instant reversal of the battlefield. Instead, they supported everyone's defenses, protecting the arrow towers. Those arrow towers were treasures of the divine families, and they required a huge amount of manpower to build. They were the true killing weapons of the battlefield. However, their repair cost would have to come out of the pocket of the Legion guarding them. Hence, the Heavenly Dragon Legion did their best to slay demonic beasts to accumulate merit points, and if they had to spend those few points on fixing the arrow towers, they would have to go hungry. With all the warriors protecting the arrow towers, a quick defensive formation quickly stabilized. Zifang, what happened here? Only now did Shen Cheng Feng have a chance to call out toward a dark-faced man. Zifang was the vice commander of the 8th Legion. He hatefully said, we were facing our enemies with no problem when suddenly a new batch came from the side, completely messing up our tempo. We didn't have time to set up any defenses. It was definitely the third legion. The sudden group of enemies came from their direction those bastards. Shen Cheng Feng gnashed his teeth. The third legion had conned them here, wanting to make them lose even the second defensive line. We can talk about that later. Let's stabilize our defenses first. We can't allow any further arrow towers to be damaged, or we'll have to go hungry this month. Ordinary warriors, focus on defense. Squad leaders, come with me. We'll slaughter as many of these demonic beasts as possible to make up for our losses, ordered Shen Cheng Feng. As long as they killed enough demonic beasts and took their needons, they could exchange them for the merit points required to fix the arrow towers. 
Brother Long, do you have any ideas? Shen Chen Feng didn't forget to look for Long Chen's opinion. Long Chen shook his head. In this kind of chaotic battle, there's no need for such a thing. Just kill them. Long Chen didn't know much about demonic beasts, so he wanted to observe more. These demonic beasts weren't that powerful. Even the strongest was only on the level of a second step nether passage expert. The most threatening thing about them was their numbers and their tough physical bodies. As for divine abilities or magical arts, they weren't powerful in that regard. Oh, those powerful fellows in the distance. Why didn't they come over? Asked Long Chen suddenly while he was in the midst of killing the demonic beasts. He sensed several powerful auras just watching from the other side. They're afraid of our arrow towers. Those stronger demonic beasts would naturally be targeted first. If one of the towers concentrates hundreds of god-breaking arrows on one of them, then even a peak 12th rank demonic beast would be killed. Those arrow towers are our greatest protection. As long as we have them, they don't dare to come close, answered Shen Chen Feng. All right, then I'll go take a look. Long Chen suddenly charged through the battlefield in the direction of those powerful auras. Long Chen. That's too dangerous shouted Shen Chen Feng. That place was the land of the demonic beasts. But Long Chen was too fast. And he couldn't stop him. Shen Chen Feng immediately gave the order to point the arrow towers in that direction. Once Long Chen retreated to their range, they could assist him. Shen Chen Feng had a strange feeling of expectation. Having advanced to the nether passage realm, Long Chen should be able to retreat alive even in the face of a demon king. Long Chen passed through countless demonic beasts. He didn't bother getting tangled up with them. Shen Chen Feng said that the arrow towers have an effective range of 8,000 miles. Past that range, their power weakens. Long Chen began calculating things as he passed through the demonic beasts. The range of those arrow towers was half as far as Guo Ran's crossbow attacks. However, they were focused on killing power in exchange for some range. There were some qualitative differences between the two. Outside the range of the arrow towers, Long Chen saw thousands of powerful demonic beasts with auras so terrifying that even he didn't dare to get close. Based on their auras, they were all peak 12th rank existences. Although their bloodlines weren't pure, their combat power was definitely above ordinary 4th step nether passage experts noveloon.com cm although Long Chen no longer cared about ordinary 4th step nether passage experts. These thousands of demonic beasts were so powerful that if he went over, he would be throwing his life away. These demonic beasts seemed to be from the same species. They had a pair of giant wings each and the heads of a bull. However, their arms were that of a human's and they were holding giant bone spears. Their eyeballs were bigger than a room. Even existences as powerful as them didn't dare to enter the effective range of the arrow towers. They were waiting for the arrows to be destroyed before attacking. However, since Long Chen and Shen Chen Feng had returned, that plan had been ruined. The demonic beasts that had charged in were no longer able to break the Heavenly Dragon Legion's defenses and destroy those arrow towers. Commander Shen, what are these bullheaded monsters called? Shouted Long Chen. Shen Chen Feng shouted back. They're from the demon race. The ignorant brat. You don't even know about our mighty titan blood bull race. Suddenly, one of those bullheaded monsters opened its mouth. Oh, you can speak. Long Chen stared in surprise. HMPH. Inferior human race. You're making too big of a fuss about nothing. Sneered another one of them. An expression of disdain appearing on its bull face. Damn. How demonic. So even a bull can grow a brain. Long Chen was amazed. Wait. I've got an idea. Long Chen suddenly had a flash of inspiration. He shouted. Ha 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 I remember now. Doesn't your Titan Blood Bull race produce bazaars? The bazaar of the Titan Blood Bull race was one of the main ingredients in certain 12th tier medicinal pills. Long Chen instantly thought of the bazaar blood ignition pill. That was one of the best pills for purifying essence blood. The dragon blood warriors were in the midst of absorbing the immemorial essence blood to stimulate their spirit blood. That on its own was great. But even then, the immemorial essence blood came from the blood race's essence blood. Even once it was purified and 99% of the impurities were extracted, there would still be the slightest bit left over with no way to remove it normally. Although everyone knew it would have an effect in the future, 
the benefits outweighed that. However, the bizarre blood ignition pill could resolve the problem. It could cause the blood to ignite and automatically remove impurities. That was what he needed most at this time. Yes, every part of the Titan Blood Bull race is a treasure. They're demonic Needon. Horns. Blood. Pizzle. Balls. They're all priceless treasures. Actually, that bizarre you mentioned is their balls. Shouted Shen Chen Feng. The pizzle and balls were particularly valuable parts of the Titan Blood Bull race. They were treasures that powerful cultivators wished to obtain. But money couldn't buy them. It's their balls? Don't try to scam me just because I don't read many books. Long Chen wanted to believe Shen Chen Feng. But he had never heard this before. Bastard human race. You're courting death. The demonic beasts roared furiously. It seemed that mentioning how valuable their body parts were was taboo to them. Haha. <laughs> so the bazaar is located there. Well then. Old bulls. Listen well. I'm going to beat your balls out. Long Chen's divine ring suddenly appeared. As the heavenly dragon warriors cried out in shock. He shot toward those titan blood bull demons. Chapter 2367 I want bull balls translator. Born to be courting death. Those titan blood bull demons roared furiously. A few of them wanted to fight. But the one that seemed to be their leader shouted. The human race is crafty. Don't get into the range of their arrow towers. If we stay here. He won't necessarily dare to come over. However. He had barely said this before Evil Moon stabbed into the sky. A giant saber image slashed toward them. Boom. Over ten of them blocked together. Resulting in them being blown back miserably. What power. Shen Chen Feng had been keeping an eye the entire time and was startled. Long Chen only had his divine ring out. His battle armor had yet to make an appearance. Despite that. He was able to force back over ten of the titan blood bull demons. Each of whom had extremely powerful physical bodies. Having fought with them for so many years. The heavenly dragon warriors were well aware that competing with them in power was suicide. Seeing Long Chen really did dare to come into their territory. Those demonic beasts roared. They actually surrounded him. Trapping him in their midst. Foolish little human. You won't be able to escape even if you grow wings. Don't even think about drawing us into the range of the arrow towers. Now that you've used yourself as bait. Don't think about escaping alive. Ha ha ha. One of the demonic beasts was in the midst of laughing when he suddenly let out a shriek. Long Chen was holding a round leathery object bigger than a house. It looked similar to a giant coconut. Damn, what big balls. In that moment of carelessness, Long Chen had suddenly struck, cutting off that demon's balls. Only now that he was holding one did he realize just how powerful the essence blood inside it was. It was like raging lava. It was definitely the correct aura based on his pill sovereign memories. Now he finally believed that their bazaar wasn't part of their digestive tract. The world really was full of marvels. The demon that Long Chen had struck fell from the sky and wailed on the ground. Constantly rolling about and holding the wound. Cutting off their balls was apparently so painful that it made them lose their ability to fight. Blood Bull Press. Suddenly. Their leader gave an order that caused all of the Titan Blood Bull demons to join forces. Their blood chi erupted, forming a giant sphere compressing on Long Chen. Long Chen's hair suddenly stood on end. The pressure was causing space to crumble and collapse. This unified attack contained all their power and was definitely enough to crush him. He immediately formed hand seals, and golden light appeared behind him. 72 sharp golden dragon teeth appeared shooting out at 72 different targets. Ever since obtaining the golden dragon teeth, he had rarely used them. Although they were incredibly sharp, they were easily damaged against powerful divine items. Once broken, they would lose their sharp nature. Without that, they were essentially useless. Long Chen hadn't used them in combat because it would be too painful to his heart to have them broken. But against these enemies with no divine items to protect them, he could finally use the teeth. The dragon teeth instantly pierced their defenses. And their aim was naturally their balls. They were instantly pierced. To increase the teeth's sharpness. Long Chen made them shrink to a foot in length. In that state. They could easily pierce the bull demon's tough hides. Especially around their balls. Miserable shrieks rang out as 72 bull demons fell to the ground. The sphere compressing him instantly fell out of balance. The others quickly stabilized it. 
causing the space inside to once more crumble. However, Long Chen had already flown out of the opening. He shot through their midst. Of course, he wouldn't go for free. Evil Moon smoothly swept out, cutting off a dozen balls. Those powerful demonic beasts fell to the ground, wailing. Their leader was infuriated. Reduce your sizes. Their huge bodies allowed them to unleash their greatest power. But now it was a disadvantageous thing. It was like a group of giants trying to swat a fly. Furthermore, Long Chen had found a way to break their combination technique. And without being able to catch him off guard again, they had to switch tactics. Thousands of bull demons quickly shrank down until they were only three meters tall. Holding bone spears, they shot at Long Chen. Battle armor. Stars appeared in Long Chen's eyes, and Evil Moon danced through the air. The closest bull demon was killed with one slash. A head soared into the air before being blown apart by a kick from Long Chen. This was the first one he killed. Previously, he had only cut off their balls, making them temporarily lose the ability to fight. The strange thing was that after a certain amount of time, their balls would regrow. Their life force was quite amazing. However, a head wouldn't regrow after it was blown apart. The first death of their comrades made these bull demons go berserk. Die. Their leader roared and charged past its subordinates, striking Long Chen on its own. Long Chen blocked its spear with Evil Moon. He felt his blood flip inside of him and was knocked back. As Long Chen fell back, a dozen bone spears pierced toward him. He dodged repeatedly, but one pierced his shoulder blade, causing sharp pain to suddenly rack his upper body. Long Chen swung his blade, cutting the one who had struck him in half. Blood burst out of his shoulder. That blood seemed to stimulate the bull demons, and they charged over. Long Chen roared and began to fight with his life on the line, but he was quickly submerged by their numbers. Commander, they've entered our shooting range. Long Chen needs our help. One of the vice commanders sent a message to Shen Chen Feng. In their rage. The bull demons had ended up being drawn closer to the battlefield without even realizing it. They had just entered the edge of their range. Not yet. Shen Chen Feng shook his head, continuing to keep an eye as he fought. Long Chen is in crisis. We can't wait, cried the vice commander. What do you know? Shut up. Shen Chen Feng roared back. Long Chen had yet to even summon his white dragon scales. Hence, it was clear that he hadn't used his full power and his vice commander couldn't even see that. In the distance, Long Chen tried to charge through the blockade of the bull demons multiple times, but was unable to get past them. Long Chen was covered in blood. During this time, he had managed to kill a dozen of them. What a monster! Shen Chen Feng couldn't help feeling amazed. Long Chen not only had the power to kill a few of the bull demons while surrounded by thousands of them, but he was clearly constantly antagonizing them to make them lose their minds even more. Commander, they fully entered our attack range. This is the best chance, said the vice commander who had just been scolded. He couldn't help it. Shen Chen Feng shook his head. The time is not fully ripe yet. Long Chen is allowing himself to be injured to draw them over. That's definitely not just to kill a few of them. He's putting in this much effort to get them all. If we attack now. One wave of attacks will only kill a third of them, and they'll be gone by the second wave. Just keep an eye. When Long Chen gives the signal or the bull demons realize something is off, unleash the arrows kill them all. The vice commander was startled. Heavens, if that works, wouldn't we have profited even counting the loss of the arrow towers? Stay calm. Long Chen always likes to play big. He, that's why I'm the happiest of all that he's come here. Damn. He's really starting to go big. Shen Chen Feng suddenly saw Long Chen summon a domain of flames. The golden flames filled the battlefield. It looked like he couldn't hold on much longer. The bull demons had gone berserk. He had repeatedly killed their comrades. But every time they were about to kill him, he would manage to slip away by just the slightest bit. Driving them crazy. The flames set them on fire but didn't scare them. Instead. It made them think that Long Chen was on his last legs. They were unaware that the flames were blocking their vision and sense of direction. They were getting closer to the center of the battlefield. The flames also drowned out sounds. Some of the demonic beasts tried to warn them, but they were unable to hear them. Shen Chen Feng, it's your turn. I don't want anything but the balls. 
Long Chen suddenly shouted. Thunder rumbled, and Long Chen suddenly shot into the sky, leaving the battlefield. Fire! Shen Chen Feng gave the order immediately. Rays of divine light shot out of the arrow towers, shooting through the titan blood bull demons. Chapter 2368 Want to play? I'll play translator. Born to be the flames vanished and were replaced by a blinding clap of lightning. The titan blood bull demons were not only blinded, but their bodies were temporarily paralyzed, not listening to their orders. They were unable to see anything, but they did hear a whistling sound that made their hair stand on end. They realized something. Run ah! A god-destroying arrow pierced through that demon's head, instantly silencing him. Countless arrows flew out of the towers, cutting through the demonic beasts. Those titan blood bull demons once more summoned their true bodies and tried to flee, even though they had wings. Flying wasn't their specialty. It was faster for them to run. But as they tried to flee, lightning suddenly paralyzed them. Some of them stumbled and tripped others. With their huge bodies, as long as they weren't shot in their head or balls, they should be fine. With their butts facing the arrows and their arms covering their heads, they fled. However, after three waves of arrows, only a few dozen of them managed to escape with their lives. Seeing that, Long Chen shook his head. If Guo Ran saw this, he would definitely curse the archers who had missed so many shots. Just as Shen Chen Feng was preparing to give the order for the fourth wave, space shuddered. Arrows rained down from a different direction. Those fish that had escaped were slaughtered. Shen Chen Feng's expression changed. He shouted, Yi Ling Feng, what do you think you're doing? At this moment, there was no need to defend the arrow towers any longer. The heavenly dragon warriors had all charged out as all the ordinary demonic beasts fled along with the titan blood bull demons. However, it was at this moment that a group of flying magical beasts appeared in the sky. They were bound by thick chains, and they were pulling giant war chariots. Those war chariots had dozens of golden crossbows set up along them, with hundreds of other heavenly dragon warriors on them. Long Chen instantly recognized the two vice commanders that had previously taunted him and Shen Chen Feng. However, now, those two were standing behind a tall and muscular man. Shen Chen Feng's gaze was locked onto that person, even without looking at the mark on his chest. Long Chen knew that he was definitely the commander of the third heavenly dragon legion. Yi Ling Feng smiled at Shen Chen Feng's gloomy expression. Commander Shen, what are you talking about? My third legion came rushing over from a great distance to reinforce you, but instead of thanking us, you act so hostile, it truly makes a person's heart cold. Shen Chen Feng directly burst into curses. Yi Ling Feng, don't give me that crap. I'm already well aware of what kind of garbage person you are. You think others don't know your sinister plots? Last time, it was your fault that we lost our territory and this time you intentionally created an opening to allow the titan blood bull race to come here, almost causing us to lose more ground. Now you even dare to come here and try to take advantage of our work? You shameless trash. You're the disgrace of the heavenly dragon legion. Ha ha ha. You're getting so angry over something so small? You really aren't fit to be a commander. No wonder you've always remained the bottom ranking existence and never managed to climb up. Shen Chen Feng. You're too unskilled. Go back and cultivate for a few more years. However, based on my vision, you'll only be able to remain at this level for the rest of your lifetime, said Yi Ling Feng without the slightest anger at Shen Chen Feng's insults. The enmity between the two of them was not a matter of one or two days. He waved his hand to his people. Go take back the prey that we killed. These are our spoils of battle. Do you want to try touching them? The 8th Legion's warriors immediately charged forward, raging. All the arrow towers locked onto Yi Lingfeng and the others. These spoils were earned with their blood and their comrades' lives. In the face of those arrow towers, Yi Lingfeng sneered. The corpses that have the arrows of my 3rd Legion belong to us. Those are the rules. If you want to try it, then try it. Let me see if you dare to actually fire at me. A few of the 3rd Legion's warriors began to pick up the corpses right in front of the 8th Legion's warriors. Although they didn't touch the ones that had only been slain by the 8th Legion, the 8th Legion's warriors were all enraged. They clenched their teeth furiously but didn't actually attack. Those were the rules of the Divine Families. 
Whoever killed the prey was who the prey would belong to. Hey, this prey is mine. You're going to take them. Long Chen had been watching this going on, and he finally spoke up. Yours? Do they have your name written on them? Sneered Yi Ling Feng. Oh, you mean without my name on them? They aren't mine. Sneered back Long Chen. You must be Long Chen. The rumors say that you're quite tough. But now I wonder if your head is broken to argue with me over such a meaningless question. Said Yi Ling Feng disdainfully. Oh no. This question is quite meaningful. But since you've answered me, it's fine. I should just warn you. My things aren't so easy to take. Advised Long Chen kindly. Ha ha ha. Who do you think you are little fellow? I take care not to get yourself killed without even realizing it. Yi Ling Feng laughed and waved his hand. Bringing his people away. As the magical beasts roared and dragged the chariots away. Yi Ling Feng's mocking voice rang out once more. Does he really think he's someone important? What a joke. The laughter of other people followed. That bastard. I really want to kill him. Shen Chen Feng smashed a nearby stone, blowing it to smithereens. If he didn't vent, he felt like he might explode. The other warriors of the 8th Legion were ashen. Their joy at their prophet had vanished, and they were now filled with rage with no way to release it. They had clearly been plotted against and had taken heavy losses. In the end, those people had even plucked some profits from them before leaving. How could they accept this? All right, don't just stare. Hurry and clean up the battlefield. Remember to leave the bazaars to Brother Long, ordered Shen Cheng Feng. This had been a crushing victory for them with thousands of the Titan Blood Bull race's corpses to go through. So having lost a few dozen was nothing. It was just the feeling that was vile. It was like they were happily eating a delicacy only to find a bug in the final bite. Shen Cheng Feng could barely contain his rage. He knew that Yi Ling Feng had schemed against them. If things had gone as Yi Ling Feng had planned, then the 8th Legion might have been routed and forced to retreat even further. Long Chen's arrival had been something he hadn't expected, so he hadn't managed to get everything that he had wanted. But even though he hadn't managed to swoop in and take all the profit in the end, he had still managed to piss off the 8th Legion. Shen Chen Feng suppressed his fury and walked over to Long Chen. Brother Long, I'm sorry for this. How about we give you half of everything in addition to the bazaars? Every part of the Titan Blood Bull race was important. The pizzle in particular was a great supplement for men, one capable of increasing their fertility. The higher the cultivation base, the lower the fertility of a cultivator. This was a suppression of the heavenly deos. The stronger they were, the stronger their descendants were. This was also why it was very difficult for two peerless experts to have children. Many of them would be unable to bear a child their entire lives. However, if they did have one, there would be a high chance of that child inheriting their father and mother's strongest bloodlines, giving the child a huge head start on everyone else when it came to cultivation. The pizzle was quite popular amongst those who had reached the life star realm and beyond. However, it was a rare treasure that couldn't be bought with money. Even if they split half of everything with Long Chen, that would still be enough to make up for the 8th Legion's losses today. Also, Shen Chen Feng was quite bold to offer Long Chen that much. Most people wouldn't have been capable of it. I don't want anything else other than the bazaars. I wouldn't have been able to kill so many of them on my own. So everyone contributed. To take all those bazaars for myself is already very shameless of me, said Long Chen. Brother Long, if it weren't for you, Long Chen shook his head. Let's not argue. After cleaning up the battlefield, I have something I want to say to everyone. Do you want revenge? You have a way. Shen Chen Feng's eyes lit up. How refreshing. Did you think I didn't have a way to handle this? Long Chen smiled wickedly. Yi Ling Feng wished to play? He would play. Chapter 2369 Do you want to gamble? Translator born to be after cleaning up the battlefield and hearing that Long Chen only wanted the bazaars, refusing the other spoils. The heavenly dragon warriors felt even greater reverence for him. He was truly worthy of being the boss of the dragon blood legion. He had refused all those treasures. Even if he himself didn't have a use for them, he could exchange them for merit points and buy other treasures. Long Chen came from poor origins but was actually willing to leave this wealth to them. That was very admirable of him. Hence, 
They all gathered up to listen intently to his vengeance plan Novaloon.com Long Chen said, Look at yourselves. Are you even cultivators? Did you cultivate to resign yourselves to fate? To be other people's stepping stones? To be humiliated by others? If that's the case, you can just stop cultivating and achieve the same result. To put it frankly, this is a result of you being pushovers. If it was the Dragonblood Legion, do you think that Yi, what was his name again, Yi Lingfang, complimented Shen Cheng Fang, yes, that Yi Lingfang, if he dared to act this way in front of my Dragonblood Legion, we'd have taken his balls instead, I would write my name backward if even one person from his group could leave alive after taking the Dragonblood Legion's spoils, but look at yourselves, does gnashing your teeth count as revenge, to tell the truth. If we didn't have a little bit of a relationship, seeing you like this would make me leave. I don't like cowards, said Long Chen. Shen Chen Feng's expression was ugly. He sighed. It's my fault. I am the weakest of the eight commanders. We wouldn't be forced to act like this if it weren't for me. This has nothing to do with your power. If I wasn't present in the Dragonblood Legion, they still wouldn't accept this. You're still enduring and making concessions after people bully you like this? Let me tell you what the law of the cultivation world is. For every step back you take, others will take another step forward until you have nowhere to go. At that time, you will find that due to taking so many steps backward, you no longer have any chance to counterattack. In the end, you won't be able to do anything but despair. So tell me, do you want revenge? Do you want to strike back? Do you want to take back the dignity that you lost? Demanded Long Chen. Of course, but we can't beat the third legion. The difference in power is too great. Shen Chen Feng bitterly smiled. The rankings of the legions were based not only on the power of the commanders but also on the actual legions. In the last competition for the rankings, Shen Chen Feng had lost narrowly to Yi Ben Chang. After that, he had worked hard and had surpassed his level. However, just that wasn't enough. He also needed to raise everyone's collective power. That didn't just refer to each warrior's power, but also the weapons, armor, steeds, houseboats, and other things that the Legion possessed. Due to the 8th Legion being the weakest, they also won the least spoils on the battlefield. They were unable to accumulate many merit points, which were the important wealth of the Legion. As a result, they grew weaker and weaker, with their courage shrinking along with them. They could only kill a few of the weaker demonic beast races. The cycle had continued to this point. The strong grew stronger, while the weak grew weaker. It was now very difficult to reverse this situation. They used to have over 20 arrow towers, but some had been damaged last time and had yet to be repaired before more were damaged. If they hadn't killed so many of the Titan Blood Bull demons this time, the next few months would have been difficult for them to get through. As for the third legion, they had 180 arrow towers and three mobile chariots, with almost every member possessing a powerful magical beast steed. Their equipment was top-notch individually as well. The 8th Legion was like beggars trying to get by in comparison to the 3rd Legion. That was why Shen Cheng Feng couldn't help sighing. The power difference was too immense. Other than humiliating themselves, nothing would be gained from going against the 3rd Legion. Of the 8 legions, the only one that they could compete with in terms of combat resources was the 7th Legion, but the 7th and 6th Legions had been sent to stand guard over the Yun Yang world. The 7th Legion's territory had been temporarily handed to the 3rd Legion to watch over. Although the 3rd Legion had only sent a small portion of their warriors over to this side, it was still too much pressure for the 8th Legion. This was a very important time for the 8th Legion. Right now, Everyone was rotating through guarding the Yun Yang world. That didn't bring them any real benefits. Last time, they had basically made nothing from guarding it. The time to gather points was crucial, but the third Legion was intentionally making things hard on them. Who said that you have to fight against them directly? Furthermore, the divine families would not permit such a thing. I simply wish to know if you have the determination to truly go against them. Battle is like a gamble. You've lost your underpants, so your only gambling chip is your life. I'm asking if you dare to gamble. If you do, then I have a plan. If you don't, then there's no need for me to stay here, said Long Chen. 
I don't quite understand, said Shen Chen Feng. He didn't know what Long Chen was planning. Long Chen waved his hand. I just want to know your attitude. Do you have that determination? If things work, you'll end up getting a big fish and the 8th Legion will no longer need to bear other people's insults. If you fail though, the 8th Legion will be so badly damaged that it won't ever recover again. I'm asking if you're willing to gamble. For a moment, everyone was silent. Suddenly, one warrior shouted, Commander, let's gamble. We cannot continue suffering like this. Everyone's morale has plummeted. We've lost everything we could lose. So what's the worst case if we lose again? Are people with nothing afraid of losing? Yes, they've pushed us too far. Our cultivation is being slowed down by them. How are we supposed to survive on the battlefield like this? Let's gamble now, or there won't be a chance in the future. I believe that senior apprentice brother Long Chen will definitely lead us to a big victory, said another warrior. Long Chen shook his head. No, when gambling, there will definitely be losses along with the wins. There are no sure bets, or it wouldn't be gambling. Whether you wish to gamble or not is up to you. Think it over well. Let's gamble. Commander, we already don't have anything to lose. If we don't strike back now, we won't even be qualified to fight the seventh legion. Exactly. Being ground down like this is miserable. It's better to gamble. The heavenly dragon warriors didn't know what Long Chen was planning, but they knew it would be something big. Their target was the third legion, the third legion which had bullied them intolerably these days. The flames of rage were still strong in their hearts. Some of them were even willing to not get anything as long as it meant that the third legion paid a price. They had had enough of the third legion's arrogance and taunting. After being forced into such desperate straits, even a rabbit would bite, let alone a human. Seeing that everyone supported this, Shen Cheng Feng nodded. All right, then we'll entrust our fates to you. We'll do what you say. Shen Cheng Feng knew what kind of person Long Chen was. He was someone who did not fear anything within heaven and earth. No one knew what he would do. Moreover, Shen Cheng Feng had also grown sick of this. In the worst case, they would be expelled from the divine families. Since everyone had made their choice, as commander, he couldn't be cowardly. All right, then let's reorganize ourselves. Tally up the results of this battle Long Chen didn't treat them as outsiders, instead directly giving orders. He called over Shen Cheng Feng to a place where they could speak alone. He smiled at him. Don't look like you're going on to the executioner's platform. I'm not going to get you all killed. Long Chen saw that Shen Cheng Feng was worried he would do something that would implicate the entire 8th Legion and get them punished. That wasn't what he was planning. Shen Cheng Feng was embarrassed at being read so easily and having such thoughts. Get me a map of this place with various strongholds, defensive lines, and powerful forces labeled. I also need to see what kind of trump cards you have accumulated, and what kind of things your merit points can be traded for, said Long Chen. Shen Cheng Feng began to explain in detail how the eight defensive lines were spread throughout the ancient battlefield as well as the general camps of the demon race. At this time, Long Chen realized that the ancient battlefield had many natural strongholds. The heavenly dragon Legion relied on those strongholds for their defensive lines. All right, I have a general understanding. Let me see what kind of cards you have right now. This is very important, said Long Chen solemnly. This was the crux of the problem. This time, Long Chen wasn't planning on using his own power. This was the trial that the deputy elder had given him. Chapter 2370 Staking everything on one throw translator. Born to be right now. We have 11 arrow towers left. Those are our strongest trump cards. The battle damaged 7 arrow towers and 437 warriors died. If we hadn't arrived in time, the 8th Legion would have taken even worse losses. Shen Cheng Feng. The arrow towers could be fixed. It just required some points. But when people died, they wouldn't come back. The divine families would send new blood to maintain the original 10,000 spots. But those newcomers weren't true warriors. They needed to be slowly tempered to reach the same tempo as the others. The biggest headache for Shen Cheng Feng was that some of the strong newcomers would rather wait until they had a chance to join the other legions instead of the 8th Legion. They all felt that there was no room for advancement within the 8th Legion. 
Those talented people were waiting for deaths amongst the other legions to fight over those spots. As a result, the people that the 8th Legion managed to get were all rather ordinary. Shen Chen Feng no longer knew how to reverse this cycle. He could only watch as his Legion grew weaker and weaker, and the only thing they could do was bitterly endure. He had tried countless times to change this, but after meeting setback after setback, failure after failure, his will had silently been ground down. Eleven Arrow Towers. All right, then what about the gains from this battle? They can be exchanged for useful things, right? Asked Long Chen. Yes, other than financial support for the families of the dead warriors, there's enough to repair the broken Arrow Towers and buy five new ones. What about other than the arrow towers? There's a lot. Take a look at the list. Shen Chen Feng handed a jade tablet to Long Chen. It lit up, and a mass of characters appeared in the air. It was a catalog containing dazzling treasures. There were armor, weapons, tools of battle, magical beast steeds, house pet eggs, formation materials, pills, medicinal ingredients, etc. When Long Chen saw those medicinal ingredients, his heartbeat quickened. The divine families must have large stores of medicinal ingredients. They had to have 12th tier ones and maybe even higher ones. However, he didn't look at the medicinal ingredients right now. He looked at the formations. After reaching the end, he finally saw an existence amongst the illusion formations called the mirror image formation. Buy some of these, said Long Chen. Mirror image formations? They're soul bewildering formations. What would we use them for? asked Shen Chen Feng. They rarely used formations on the battlefield because the cost was so great that any profit was lost. Buy 300 of them. I have a use for them. 300? Each one is a thousand points. 300,000 points is half of our gains from this battle, said Shen Chen Feng with alarm. They're so expensive Long Chen was surprised. In the Dragonblood Legion, Xia Chen was the one who made their formation discs and he seemed to have an endless number of them. Long Chen hadn't been aware that they were so precious. Carving formation discs was extremely complicated, with a high chance of failure. That was why each formation disc was very precious. Even if they're expensive, we have to buy them. Sonic light bombs. I want 10 of them, and I suppose 8,000 explosive arrowheads. Long Chen began to list things. The things he wanted turned Shen Chen Feng's face green. Long Chen, the 8th Legion, doesn't have so many points. It's all right. Go talk to your brothers and have them contribute the points they have. After this operation, return it to them double, said Long Chen. That's too far. Every warrior was given 10 points by the divine families every month. Those points were basically their life. Those points were what they used to buy items that they needed for cultivation. Those 10 points weren't even enough. The other legions gave rewards to their warriors from their successful battles. But in the past few months, the 8th Legion hadn't gained any points to distribute. And now Shen Cheng Feng was to demand others give up their points instead? Are you too embarrassed to do it? All right, I'll do it. Long Chen stood. No, I'll do it. Shen Cheng Feng shook his head. Even if it was embarrassing, he had to do it himself. Otherwise, he wouldn't be qualified to be their commander. An hour later, Shen Chen Feng returned. Seeing his slightly red eyes, Long Chen smiled. How was it? Were you surprised? Shen Chen Feng nodded, his voice emotional. It really was surprising. I didn't think that they would support me so much. I suddenly feel like I've failed to live up to their expectations. When he had gone about asking for points, they had given him everything they had. Those sincere faces had almost made him cry, with no one else watching. Shen Chen Feng really did cry now. This was partly from emotion but also shame. I'm not a good commander, but every one of them is a good warrior, said Shen Chen Feng. Long Chen patted his shoulder. The reason they are willing to risk this with you is because of your charisma. Being negative to yourself is being negative to them. Sorry, I've made you laugh at me. No, who said men can't cry? I don't know how many times I've cried myself. It's those damn fellows that are too damn moving. You and I are the same. Their futures are on our shoulders. Why else would I risk my life? Not because I'm a fool but because there's no other choice. Right. I'm so much older than you. But I feel so young in front of you. Well, 
I won't say too much about that. This life of mine is yours for now. We just barely managed to buy everything that you listed. Now what asked Shen Chen Feng? Now, all you have to do is listen to me. Long Chen's wicked laughter rang out once more. Three days passed silently. On this day, Long Chen and Shen Chen Feng snuck to the front of the battlefield. Within a giant boulder, Long Chen looked out from a crack to examine the ruins before him. This is where you set up your defensive line before asked Long Chen. The boulder they were in was a special tool designed to conceal their auras and prevent others from noticing them. The 8th Legion only had this one, and it was only capable of holding a few people. Yes, all the defenses we set up here have been destroyed, said Shen Chen Feng. Long Chen continued examining things and then suddenly chortled. Truly not bad. Other than the Titan Blood Bull race, there's also the Long Arm Demon Ape and Wind Stepping Demon races. With so many demonic beasts here, there's no way for us to take back this territory, said Shen Chen Feng. It would be a crazy man's dream to win back this territory with just the 8th Legion's power. If my Dragonblood Legion came, I would directly charge through them. But this time, I have to use my head to resolve this problem. To tell the truth, I rarely bother with such a thing. Long Chen curled his lips, continuing to examine things. He asked. Are things prepared on that side? Everything was set up six hours ago. I made them check things one last time just now to confirm that nothing was off. Now they're just waiting, said Shen Chen Feng. Long Chen nodded. Being a bit cautious was best. In truth, he was sure that the heavenly dragon warriors wouldn't leave any holes. This related to their lives and fates. Very quickly, Shen Chen Feng received word that they had gone over everything again and found nothing off. Now what asked Shen Chen Feng? Even now, he didn't know Long Chen's plan. Now it's simple. Long Chen smiled sinisterly. The boulder they were in slowly retreated. The camp of the third heavenly dragon Legion was located between a giant spatial crack and a bottomless hole. Between these two natural strongholds were 30,000 warriors. They all belonged to the third Legion. Their armor was bright, and their weapons were of the highest quality. Outside their camp were hundreds of giant magical beasts patrolling, keeping a vigilant eye on the demonic beasts. If any of them approached, these magical beasts would immediately sense them and sound the alarm. With the magical beasts patrolling, the other warriors didn't need to. Things looked very LAX. Report. Suddenly, a person came flying over to the center of the camp. Yi Lingfen was standing in the war chariot and asked him, What is it? Reporting to the commander, the 8th Legion has surrounded a group of elites of the demonic beasts at the Ghost King Pit to the front right. It seems that they'll fully exterminate them in less than an incense stick's time. Oh? It seems that Long Chen has some ability. Let's go take a look and see if he can piss them off some more. Yi Ling Feng's eyes brightened. He immediately led a portion of his people away. Chapter 2371 Falling into the Con Translator born to be retreat. The 8th Legion's warriors were about to slaughter all the demonic beasts that they were surrounding until someone shouted. Without hesitation, everyone flew away. Their bodies suddenly vanished mysteriously as if space had enveloped them. Those warriors had entered an illusion formation that had been activated from near a spatial crack. Without getting close, there was no way to tell. At this moment, a war chariot came racing over. Yi Lingfeng was standing at up it only to see a mass of corpses from the demonic beasts. There were still some straggling demonic beasts fleeing. Hmm, curious. Where are they? They retreated without even cleaning up the battlefield. The person who had reported this in the first place couldn't understand it. Something seems off, said one of the vice commanders. But he was unable to say what was off. The 8th Legion was famous for their poverty. When they cleaned up the battlefield, they wouldn't leave a single thing. But now they had run off without even picking up a corpse? Boom. Suddenly, space exploded. Runes filled the air, causing them all to jump. Upon seeing those runes, Yi Lingfeng's gaze turned cold. Mirror image runes. Yi Lingfeng instantly recognized them. No wonder he had felt it was odd. What they had been seeing was just a mirror image. Those runes exploded and roaring filled the air. A mass of Titan Blood Bull demons came charging over. They had been here the whole time, and upon seeing a lone chariot rushing over, they had first been dumbfounded.
But then seeing it was all alone, they didn't overthink it and attacked. How stupid. They spent this much money just to give us some food. Yi Lingfeng sneered. A group of Titan Blood Bull demons was nothing to him. However, he had yet to finish talking when another mirror image formation appeared behind them, splintering apart to reveal a group of black four-legged lizards. Those lizards spat out black mist that surged toward them. Activate the chariot's defenses to block the poison mist, ordered Yi Lingfeng. The most terrifying aspect of those lizards was their poison. Even armor could be corroded by it. It wasn't the actual armor itself, but the runes that gave it its power that would be corroded. Suddenly, strange sounds came from the distance. Someone cried arrow bone rats. Giant rats with bone spurs coming out of their backs were rushing over. Those bone spurs were just as sharp as arrows. As soon as they appeared, those bone spurs came shooting over. They exploded on contact with the chariot. And although the chariot was not damaged, it was shaking intensely. The magical beasts carrying it were wiped out. Yi Lingfeng was infuriated. Everyone other than him was forced to hide within the chariot. The chariot's runes lit up, unleashing runic swords that killed the closest titan blood bull demons. The unfortunate thing was that the lizard's poison mist was extremely effective against human flesh and armor, but other demonic beasts didn't seem to mind. The most terrifying opponents for them were the arrow bone rats. Their bone arrows were almost equivalent to the attack of the arrow towers. Through a formation disc, Long Chen watched everything going on. He couldn't help smacking his lips. Those arrow bone rats are so powerful. Beside him, Shen Chen Feng said, Of course. They're very terrifying existences that we have never dared to get close to. When we see them, we immediately retreat to focus on defense. They're the only ones that can wipe us out instantly if we're not careful. Fortunately, their range isn't that great. That's why it was possible to lure them over here. Long Chen, I'm pretty amazed you managed to calculate everything so perfectly. To lure the demonic beasts over so accurately. Long Chen had used multiple mirror image formations. Making them come here without even noticing it. These are just some meaningless tricks. I don't like using them because they're so childish but sometimes they can be fun to play around with. Hiding here while watching the fish get lured in bit by bit. He, it really feels quite good, laughed Long Chen. It had been a while since he had played some schemes. Hiding while conning others. If the old man were to learn of this, he would definitely curse him to death. But Long Chen did feel quite successful inside. Yi Lingfeng's group was being thrown about within the carriage from the attacks of the arrow bone rats. Bastard. Do you think this is enough to make things hard on me? You're too immature. Yi Lingfeng roared and slammed the core of the chariot's formation. He was going to unleash the full power of the chariot. However, just at that moment, a jade plate on his waist began to rapidly blink, causing his expression to change. Our defensive line has been attacked. The chariot tumbled away, wretchedly managing to get away from the attacks of the demonic beasts. However, those demonic beasts followed. Their intelligence wasn't very high. And seeing one lonely war chariot, they felt that this was a chance they might not get again. The chariot sped through the air, with three groups of demonic beasts in hot pursuit. As the chariot fled, more groups of demonic beasts appeared in their way. And when they saw the chariot, they immediately attacked. Bastards. They definitely did something here. Raged Yi Lingfeng. Their retreat path had also been set up. He didn't even know where these demonic beasts were coming from. More and more of them were appearing, causing him to panic. If their defensive line was lost, taking it back would be very difficult. Long Chen, you little bastard. Just wait. Once I settle things here, don't even think about leaving the ancient battlefield alive. With his understanding of Shen Chen Feng, Yi Ling Feng was sure that he couldn't come up with such a scheme. One reason was because Shen Cheng Feng didn't have the head for it, while the other was because he didn't have the gods. This was definitely Long Chen's idea. More and more demonic beasts appeared, but fortunately they had the war chariot. If they hadn't, they would have been doomed. Yi Ling Feng didn't dare to tarry. If they were trapped in a battle against these demonic beasts, once the chariot's energy was all used up, it would become a scrap of useless metal. Perhaps he himself would be able to escape with his power, but everyone else would die. Countless runic swords were shooting out of the chariots, 
forcibly carving a bloody path through the demonic beasts. They didn't even have time to pick up the corpses. It was like Yi Lingfeng had angered a hornet's nest. Except it wasn't hornets but millions of demonic beasts. From a distance, Long Chen saw a line of dust appear in the sky as Yi Lingfeng fled. He sighed. Shen Chen Feng also sighed. This was a sigh that represented the slightest relief from years of resentment. The heavenly dragon warriors were starting to clean up the battlefield. One of them excitedly said, The third legion's flying dragon war chariots are really powerful. If we had one as well, wouldn't we be able to reclaim our lost territory if we had such a thing? We would never have lost our territory don't dream. Such a treasure couldn't be bought even if we saved all our points for three years. Be more realistic and clean up the battlefield. He, it seems that we'll not only get back our investment but also make some profit. All the heavenly dragon warriors felt great satisfaction looking at Ji Lingfeng's wretched sight. Not only that, but they were also picking up the corpses of powerful demonic beasts that could be exchanged for enough points to make up for what they had spent. Long Chen. That's about enough. If we get any closer to the seventh legion's camp, the formation will sense us, said Shen Chen Feng. Right now, they were still on the edge of the region that the seventh legion's camp could sense. The divine families had rules, and taking corpses that they hadn't killed would be considered stealing. Of course, if no one saw, then rules became powerless. It would be troublesome though if they were noticed. Based on our current profit, we haven't lost out at all. We even profited a bit. We can leave now, said Shen Chen Feng. Leave now? Do you think that when I go out, I'm satisfied with so little? It seems you really have gotten used to your poor days. Long Chen looked at Shen Chen Feng with surprise. Brother Long what did you plan to do? Long Chen was speechless. How refreshing. This is just the start, and the good show has yet to begin. How could we stop now? We still haven't used quite a few of the things that we bought. Ah, then what's next? Next? Next. We can just watch the fun. At this time, Yi Lingfeng should have returned to his camp. Yi Lingfeng truly had returned. However, when he did, he saw that there were no demonic beasts attacking. Everything was still calm. The warriors stationed there stared at him in shock. Behind him was an army of demonic beasts charging over. Yi Lingfeng's expression changed. He knew he had been scammed again. Activate all the defenses. The arrow towers, war chariots, divine crossbows, and the dragon cannons must be unleashed. Roared Yi Lingfeng. Chapter 2372 Saving Enemies Translator. Born to be the third legion's warriors that were within the camp were all shocked. Just what had happened? Why had their commander drawn over so many demonic beasts? There was no need for Yi Lingfeng to give orders. They instantly entered their combat state. Arrows shot out of the camp, and the sound of cannons resounded through the air. Giant corpses piled up as the demonic beasts at the front were slain. However, no one smiled. There's too many demonic beasts. We can't stop them. Even after using all their weapons, they were unable to stop the advance of the demonic beasts. They were too fast, and even if the ones at the front were slain, their corpses protected the ones behind them from most of the attacks. The worst thing to occur in a battle against demonic beasts was to encounter such a wave. Once the demonic beasts began congregating for such an assault, they needed to be interrupted. However, today, things had come too suddenly. These demonic beasts attacked from right behind Yi Lingfeng. The exploding formations set up underground that were normally used to stop the charges of demonic beasts would blow up Yi Lingfeng if activated. That moment of hesitation allowed the demonic beasts to close the gap. As soon as Yi Lingfeng's chariot entered the camp, he shouted, Detonate all the lightning partitions explosions shook the land. Lightning mixed with flames blasted apart the demonic beasts. After just over ten explosions, things fell silent again. Yi Lingfeng's expression darkened. What are you hesitating for? Detonate them all. Commander, this is the camp of the seventh legion, not ours. There were only 16 lightning partitions in the third legion's camp. There were over 300 of those bombs laid underground. If they were there, then these demonic beasts would have been wiped out instantly. Unfortunately, Yi Lingfeng had forgotten that this wasn't his camp. They had only come as a temporary garrison for this spot. 
Stop wasting words and focus on defense. We cannot allow them to enter. Yi Lingfen was so enraged that his face alternated between black and green. He personally stepped forward, summoning his manifestation and taking the vanguard position. It went without saying that Yi Lingfen was extremely powerful. His armor enveloped him in light, and his sword danced through the air, killing a powerful demonic beast with each slash. Although Long Chen disliked this fellow, he had no choice but to admit that he was powerful. Yi Lingfen led his warriors into battle, with the arrow towers, war chariots, divine crossbows, and dragon cannons all shooting from the rear. The demonic beasts were being slaughtered in waves. Seeing how powerful the third legion was, Shen Chen Feng sighed. They really are far stronger than us. If it was the eighth legion facing this assault, running would be their only option. Rather than saying that they're strong, it's more accurate to say that they're wealthy. They are essentially created from money, but they also have a fatal flaw, said Long Chen. What fatal flaw? Shen Chen Feng hastily asked. They're too prideful. They think a powerful costume makes them unbeatable. From their movements, you can see that they're not accustomed to this kind of battle. In other words, in the past, they always crushed their opponents directly. To put it frankly, they're a group of adults who have only beaten children. They have no idea how to work together in combat. Although their attacks look sharp, they're just randomly shooting. They have no control over the tempo of the battle. I guarantee that in less than an incense stick's worth of time, holes will appear in their defense, said Long Chen confidently. Really? It looks to me that they're definitely going to win. After all, their equipment is so strong, said Shen Chen Feng. Long Chen smiled and pointed at a formation disc when Shen Chen Feng saw the information on it. His eyes almost popped out. You drew over the demonic beasts from three surrounding regions the formation disc showed countless demonic beasts rushing over to the seventh legion's camp. Their numbers were several times greater than the current demonic beasts attacking. Long Chen, did we go too far? If the third legion is destroyed, we, Shen Chen Feng's voice shuddered. If Long Chen conned Yi Ling Feng to death, that would not be playing around. If the third legion over here was destroyed, it would be a catastrophe. Don't worry, everything is under control, promised Long Chen. This battle will naturally draw the attention of the surrounding demonic beasts. When the other legions see that the demonic beasts are about to break through this defensive line, they'll naturally come to reinforce it. That's precisely why we'll be able to profit the most. I don't like doing small things. He, even if a piece of meat were to jump into my mouth on its own, I'd be too lazy to eat it if it was too small. As expected, when the reinforcements of the demonic beasts arrived, the third legion was no longer able to endure and was starting to show signs of crumbling. Yi Lingfen went all out, but no matter how strong he was, he couldn't defend the entire line. He could only suppress one region, but the others were unable to endure. Commander, we must retreat, shouted one of the vice commanders. The demonic beasts were like a growing tide and they were about to force the third legion to the point of no return. If they still didn't retreat, they would be surrounded and doomed. The space within the ancient battlefield was not stable enough to set up long-distance transportation formations. By this point, even if they requested help, it couldn't possibly arrive in time. Furthermore, the closest group to them was the 8th legion. With how weak they were, their reinforcements would be useless. That was not mentioning whether or not the eight legion would even want to help them. Have the large equipment pull back for now and unleash the full power of the arrow towers. There's no need to consider the lifespan of the arrow towers, ordered Yi Ling Feng furiously. The arrow towers were stationary equipment that could not be moved freely. Once they lost this defensive line, those arrow towers would definitely be broken. Hence, upon hearing his order, the runes on the arrow towers ignited. Their arrows doubled in power. With dozens of arrow towers unleashing a crazy rain of arrows, the demonic beasts were forced back. Those arrow towers are ruined. They won't even have any value now, said Shen Chen Feng. To the 8th Legion, every arrow tower was an important trump card to protect their lives. Seeing Yi Ling Feng sacrifice over 60 of them at once, he didn't know what to feel. It's not like they're your arrow towers. Long Chen smiled, but we want them, Shen Chen Feng shrugged, well, 
As long as this play finishes, I guarantee you'll have more than enough arrow towers, said Long Chen. Shen Chen Fen was so poor that he'd feel bad for his enemies over this. Boom. The arrow towers began to explode one by one, crumbling into rubble. However, they had accomplished their mission. The third legion had gained the time to pull back all the mobile weaponry they had. Retreat. Without the arrow towers, they no longer had the power to stop this tide of demonic beasts. Yi Ling Fen waved his hand, and the last batch of warriors flew into the three war chariots. The war chariots had immense offensive and defensive power. They were also extremely fast. They were treasures that Shen Chen Feng and the others dreamed of having. With the war chariots, they could safely retreat. This was the power of money. The defensive line was broken, and the demonic beast seemed to feel like they had won. Charging inside, they quickly destroyed all the buildings that had been set up as they chased after Yi Ling Feng. The third legion quickly retreated. With the space growing narrower, there were giant spatial cracks to the side. Half an incense sticks worth of time later, another camp appeared. That was the seventh legion's second line of defense. Once they had retreated to that second line, Yi Ling Fen jumped off his chariot and sneered at the demonic beasts. He waved his hand. Explosions suddenly occurred from underground. It was unknown what was hidden there, but thick smoke had enveloped the demonic beasts. The smoke seemed to terrify the demonic beasts. They fled, with those behind also wanting to retreat when they saw it. Demonic beasts began to collapse onto the ground. Powerless, idiot demon race. I'll be using your corpses to make up for our losses. Brothers Yi Ling Feng was suddenly interrupted by consecutive explosions occurring amongst the demonic beasts. Blinding light filled the sky. As they covered their eyes, a voice he hated rang out in their ears. Brothers of the Third Legion, don't be afraid. The Eighth Legion is here to save you. Brothers, take the oh wait. No. Kill the demonic beasts. Chapter 2373 Coughing up blood from anger translator. Born to be its sound explosion light bombs. Yi Ling Feng roared furiously when he recognized what the blinding light was. As well as recognizing that the hateful voice came from Long Chen. He had given up the first line in order to draw the demonic beasts into a narrow opening between two spatial cracks. Those spatial cracks contained the terrifying wills of two experts who had once fought to the death here. Despite the time that had passed, their wills remained. Thanks to the erosion of those two wills, this place had a special effect on other people's wills. By putting bewitching smoke here, it was possible to make even powerful demonic beasts collapse. Bastards. You're stealing our spoils of war. Everyone from the third legion was enraged. The sound explosion light bombs were especially effective in this place. The demonic beasts would lose their hearing and sight temporarily, and their souls would become sluggish for just a breath's time. But that effect was amplified by the smoke. Clearly, Long Chen had included it all in his calculations. As for the third legion, the smoke continued to block their path making Yi Ling Feng so furious that he felt like he might explode. Those bastards. Kill them all. Use our long-range attacks to clear out the battlefield roared Yi Ling Feng. Commander, we can't. How are we supposed to explain ourselves if we kill them? The vice commanders and the others all jumped. Although it was possible for them to bully the 8th Legion, they definitely couldn't kill them. The killer would definitely be executed. After all. This was a competition amongst members of the divine families, and it had restrictions. Killing each other was not permitted. Yi Ling Feng simply continued to curse. They had lost their first line of defense, sacrificed their arrow towers, exposed their secret trump card, and the moment for them to reap the harvest had been taken by others. The bewitching smoke had yet to scatter, so he didn't dare to go over. Most hateful of all, he heard the voices coming from the other side. Our 8th Legion will not sit by while our comrades are killed. We will fight together for the Divine Families even if we have to sacrifice our lives. It doesn't matter. When our brothers are in trouble, we must assist them. This is our duty. Although some people are inhuman, would we be so petty as to quarrel with such little people? We will show everyone what it means to repay enmity with kindness. Brothers of the 3rd Legion, don't worry. We'll risk our lives to hold back your enemies. You must flee. These were all phrases that Long Chen had come up and rehearsed with the 8th Legion. Yes, 
They were extremely moving. Yi Lingfeng's vision darkened. He almost fainted. The warriors around him cried out in shock. Commander, are you all right? Yi Lingfeng's face was twisted into a frightening expression. He was hysterical. Long Chen, you'll pay the price for your foolish actions. Aya, Commander Yi Lingfeng, why are you shouting like a rabid dog? We risked our lives to come help you. But instead of thanking us, you act so hostile? It truly makes a person's heart cold. Long Chen's voice came from within the smoke, and Yi Lingfeng didn't even have the power to retort. He suddenly coughed up a mouthful of blood. Commander, Aya, Commander Yi, your moral character is far too narrow. How could someone with so little ability and such a bad temperament be a commander? It really is inconceivable Long Chen's voice rang out once more. Yi Lingfeng began to spasm. Quick, place the commander in the chariot and block out all sounds the vice commanders were pale. Yi Lingfeng was showing signs of becoming bedeviled. If Long Chen said any more, he might just die from anger. One of the commanders clapped Yi Lingfeng in the back of his head, causing him to faint. They brought him into the carriage and isolated him from the sounds of the outside world. Long Chen, you son of a bitch. You are openly stealing our spoils. We'll report this to the Heaven Executioner and the Eighth Legion. You really are idiots. Are you not afraid of our reprisal? Cursed the vice commander that had previously taunted Long Chen and Shen Cheng Feng. Long Chen had truly been vicious this time. Even with their powerful fortifications, they had still lost over 70 warriors, as well as the arrow towers and the camp. If Long Chen hadn't come, then killing these demonic beasts would have allowed them to make up for some of their losses. But Long Chen had actually come to take their painfully won fruit. Long Chen didn't respond. Instead, Shen Cheng Feng sneered. How laughable. Your reprisal? When did the 8th Legion provoke you into causing us to lose our camp? Why weren't you afraid of our reprisal? Now that you forced us to the point of no return, why aren't we allowed our vengeance? Cough. This isn't vengeance. Yes. We are in no way admitting to that. We came to save you. Yes. That's it. Corrected Long Chen. Shen Cheng Feng had slipped up due to his anger. Sometimes rules really were a case of burying one's head in the sand. But there was still no choice. Long Chen's meaning was clear. Yes, they had come for vengeance, but they weren't admitting to it. What could you do about that? Brothers, kill. Protect our brothers of the Third Legion. Even if we have to fight to the death, we won't hesitate shouted Long Chen. Arrows rained down on those demonic beasts that were lying powerless on the ground from the bewilderment smoke and sound explosion light bombs. The Eighth Legion's warriors were holding giant crossbows. It took over 10 people to carry each one, but they were shooting crazily. The ones who had charged to the front were amongst the strongest members of the demon race. As for the ones at the rear, they had fled. As a result, the only things to shoot were essentially live targets. They were quickly killed. Although these crossbows had been taken out of the arrow towers and so they weren't as powerful without it as a base, the good thing was that they were mobile and still possessed enough power to kill the demonic beasts. The Eighth Legion's warriors had never had such a successful operation. Some of them were tasked with cleaning up the battlefield, and they quickly picked up the corpses. After all, those corpses were money. A torrent of money was entering their pockets with every blink. Hurry, the effect of the sound explosion light bombs is about to fade, urged Long Chen. The problem wasn't that the demonic beasts would awaken. The problem was that the bewildering smoke would return while they were in the midst of cleaning up the battlefield. Then they would also be affected. Those corpses aren't yours, demanded one of the vice commanders. Based on the rules, they couldn't take what they hadn't killed. Who said that they weren't ours? Any corpse with one of our arrows on it is ours, said Long Chen innocently. The Eighth Legion's warrior's eyes brightened. That was true. Even if they didn't kill the corpse, they just had to make it look like they had. Hurry, hurry, pressed Long Chen. If Long Chen gave them a medicinal pill to eat, it would have been possible for them to resist the effect of the smoke. But he didn't want to use his own power. He wanted to use the power of the Eighth Legion to Kong Yi Lingfeng. Ah, there's no need to be miserly. Let's go. When the battlefield was essentially cleaned up and Long Chen saw some of them looking for pieces of corpses in the ground, he shook his head. 
Long Chen was truly experiencing just how poor the Eight Legion was in their habits. Brothers of the Third Legion, through our bloody battle, our tenacious effort, the spilling of our blood, we've finally managed to help you stop your enemies. You're safe now and can come out of hiding. There's no need to thank us with a meal. As we'll be going now, the Eighth Legion's warriors cried out in unison and then left. An hour later, the bewildering smoke faded. The Third Legion's warriors charged through the narrow pass. Up to a certain point, there were still a few corpses left behind for them. But eventually, it was like the battlefield had been severed with a knife, and everything on the other side was gone. Damn Long Chen. Damn Shen Chen Feng. Just wait. Yi Ling Feng had just woken up. He saw that fewer than a tenth of the corpses remained. Ninety percent of the spoils had fallen into Long Chen's hands. He was so furious that he once more coughed up a mouthful of blood. Chapter 2374 Treating people the way they treat others Translator Born to be Long Chen and the others had only just returned to the 8th Legion's camp when Yi Ling Feng came charging over with his people. Long Chen, Shen Chen Feng, hand over our spoils or I will annihilate the 8th Legion today. Yi Ling Feng's roar resounded throughout heaven and earth. His voice was full of hatred and resentment. Through this one battle, they had lost so much, but had only gotten less than a tenth of the spoils. Tens of thousands of experts from the Third Legion were now standing in the Eighth Legion's camp. They were so angry it looked like they might spontaneously combust at any moment. Aya, aren't you that Commander Yi? Why did you come over here so ferociously? Long Chen walked out, looking at him like a kindly elder. The act almost made him laugh but he managed to keep up his appearance. Why? Hand over our things, roared Yi Ling Feng. Long Chen looked at him disdainfully. Commander Yi, this time you're wrong. We came rushing over to the Third Legion from such a great distance to help you, but instead of being grateful, you come here looking like you want to kill people? It truly makes a person's heart cold. Some of the people beside Yi Ling Feng felt these words to be so familiar. But the Eighth Legion's people all knew that this was how Yi Ling Feng had treated them before when taking their spoils. Bullsh Ti, this was your scheme. Hand over the spoils right now, demanded Yi Ling Feng. Also noticing that imitation. Your spoils? Did they have your name on them? You. What you? Have you forgotten how arrogant and domineering you were when you took our spoils? Let me tell you. The demonic beasts that we killed have our arrows in them. That's the proof. Whoever killed the prey gets it. Didn't you say that last time? It's your own crap. Return to you untouched. Right. Sneered Long Chen. Yi Ling Feng had taken the Eighth Legion's spoils in a similar way. Infuriating the warriors. Now the wheel had turned. And spitting back Yi Ling Feng's words right at him was a cathartic release for Shen Chen Feng and the others. That's completely different. You were the ones who drew the demonic beasts over to our side maliciously. HMPH. As long as this is reported to the Heaven Executioner, just a few searches through some souls will show the truth. Did you really think your scheme was seamless? shouted Yi Ling Feng. Shen Chen Feng's expression changed slightly when the Heaven Executioner was mentioned. The Heaven Executioner was someone who handled big things in the Divine Families. If this matter ended up growing any bigger, it would be troublesome. The truth? Isn't it already very clear? Our actions were all open and above board. If you want to say something, then say it, urged Long Chen. You, Yi Ling Feng switched targets. Shen Chen Feng, Long Chen doesn't care if you live or die. He can just leave whenever he wants. But as for you, are you willing to throw your lives away? Shen Chen Feng put on a calm exterior, but he was a bit panicked inside. He didn't have Long Chen's guts. He had the entire Eighth Legion to consider. This truly wasn't a good thing. Quite a few people of the Third Legion had died. If this matter was further investigated, it wouldn't be good. Just as Shen Chen Feng was dwelling in his fear, Long Chen suddenly laughed. Yi Ling Feng, playing this game with me is stupid. I can use my left foot to outthink you. You want to use the Heaven Executioner to suppress others? It doesn't matter who you bring this up to. Yes, this was arranged by me. But I was arranging for the demonic beasts to be drawn over to our camp so that we could exterminate them. You suddenly charged into our plans, completely messing things up. You were the ones who drew the demonic beasts away. When you lost your camp, 
We clearly had no chance of victory, but we still took the risk to come save you. So tell me, just who is afraid of who? This entire battle plan was drawn up by me, and even Commander Shen had to listen to my orders, let alone the other warriors. If I say something is black, then it's black. If I want it to be white the next instant, then it's automatically white. Who can say anything? So I'll tell you what the truth is. This is the consequence of maliciously ruining our plans. If you have to blame anyone, blame yourself. Understand. Hearing Long Chen put it this way, Shen Cheng Feng and the others almost prostrated themselves before him. This whole thing had been set up by Long Chen and it seemed that the only reason he hadn't told them the plan was precisely to counter this play by Yi Lingfeng. After thinking about it, this result was due to Yi Lingfeng charging into their battlefield. All the consequences would have to be borne by him. As long as Long Chen didn't admit he was intentionally conning him, no one could do anything about it. Now their back straightened. So, he wished to tell the heaven executioner? Then go ahead. It was all his own fault anyway. You. Yi Lingfeng was finally at a loss for words. This had truly started because he wanted to ruin the 8th Legion's plans and take their spoils. Now he had been burned from touching the fire. No one would be able to blame Long Chen for this. In other words, Long Chen hadn't left them anything to use against him. I don't care. Hand over our things or I'll wipe you out right here and now, barked Yi Lingfeng. If loud voices were what ruled things, donkeys would be in command of this world. You want to wipe us out? Then just try it. Let's see if you have the gods. Sneered Long Chen contemptuously. Yi Lingfeng ground his teeth to the point that they were about to splinter. He didn't dare to attack. Amongst the legions, friction was only natural. But open slaughter was absolutely not permitted. If he killed even one of them, he wouldn't be escaping alive either. What are you glaring at me for? Shouldn't you fuck off now? Are you waiting for us to treat you to a meal? Sorry, but we don't have the money. We haven't counted our spoils from the last battle. So you should scram. Long Chen flapped his hand at Ji Lingfeng's furious glare like shooing away a bug. Fine. Long Chen. Shen Chen Feng. Just wait. My things aren't so easy to take. I'll make you regret this. Ji Lingfeng's voice came from between the cracks in his teeth. He brought his people away. Once he was gone, the 8th Legion's warriors erupted into cheers. Amazing. Yi Lingfeng looked like his dad had just died. I suddenly realized how blessed we are. Fuck. We finally got to vent. I feel like my next bottleneck has even weakened. The feeling of revenge is about to burst out of my chest. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen actually conned Yi Lingfeng to this point. The 8th Legion's warriors were so excited that it couldn't be described with words. They were still floating in the clouds. The resentment that had been accumulating for years was finally released. That feeling wasn't something an outsider could understand. Brother Long, I really admire you. This scheming is something I'll never be able to learn, praised Shen Chen Feng. Long Chen shook his head. This little trick is practically shameful. If it was taken out in the secular world's empires, people would laugh at you for trying such things. But it's enough for Yi Ling Feng. A higher level scheme might not even work on that idiot. Long Chen, aren't you saying that we're also idiots? Shen Chen Feng bitterly smiled. You were born in the cultivation world and live off of martial power. So you don't need schemes. But I was born in the secular world in a noble family that was about to be crushed. I grew experienced with these schemes from a young age. In the secular world, individual power doesn't vary much. When two people are equally powerful then schemes can show their usefulness. But in your world, it's a joke. Because as long as you can crush your opponents with power, no scheme will make up for it. Tell me, if I was in the Xi'anshan realm and possessed unparalleled intelligence, do you think I could beat you? No, that would be impossible. Exactly. Just remember that fish and bears have different skills, and you can't have both. If you waste your time scheming, your cultivation speed will definitely be slowed. For me, playing these kinds of games is just for some occasional fun. Don't fall for it, warned Long Chen. Shen Chen Feng's heart shook, and he hastily said, I understand. Good. Has everything been counted up yet? We have enough to reclaim our first defensive line. Just half our points should be enough for that. 
We also have enough to reward the warriors and equip them better. Shen Chen Feng Zai shone with excitement. Why would taking back your territory require points? Asked Long Chen. Hmm? I don't understand. If we don't use the points for various besieging apparatus, how are we supposed to take back our camp? Isn't there still Yi Ling Feng and the others? What? Chapter 2375 The goal is to play you to death translator. Born to be boom. Fuck. As soon as Yi Ling Feng returned to his camp, he smashed apart a stone platform. His face was frightening. The others didn't dare to say a word. He wants to play with me? Fine. I'll play with you. I'll play you to death. Raged Yi Ling Feng. Thinking of how the 8th Legion was definitely counting their money with delight and deciding how to use their new wealth, Yi Ling Feng felt like he might burst. He turned around. Second commander, go to our camp and bring the divine dragon tyrant crossbow. The vice commander's expression instantly changed. Commander, that's a killing weapon. Without it, our own camp would be in danger. What are you afraid of? Just do it secretly. Our camp is solid and demonic beasts haven't attacked it in forever. It's always us going hunting. It's not like we have any demonic beast spies amongst us. Just don't go telling them. How would they know? Said Yi Ling Fen coldly. But, no bots. I will bear responsibility for it. So hurry up. It takes a long time to dismantle and set the divine dragon tyrant crossbow up. So do it quickly. I want to use it while Long Chen and the others are trying to take back their first defensive line, said Yi Ling Feng. The vice commander helplessly listened to his orders. Third commander, go back and use all our points for heaven concealing stones, heaven exploding lightning, and killing formation discs. Yi Ling Feng turned to another vice commander. All our points. The vice commander jumped in shock. Yes, all. I'm going to go big this time. Fuck. Long Chen dares to scheme against me, then I'll scheme him to death. When they try to reclaim their territory, we'll launch a sneak attack on the surrounding nine large demonic beast races and draw them all over. Commander, the eighth Legion will be completely wiped out if that happens. Even in the best case, half of them will die. Do you really want to do this? Asked the vice commander. If the higher ups were to learn of this, there would definitely be executions. If we don't do this, how am I supposed to resolve my fury? Demanded Yi Ling Feng. But this is too much. It will definitely startle the higher ups. What are you afraid of? What do you think Long Chen came here for? The Long family is clearly trying to restrict us. Putting it bluntly, we represent the Yi family, and he represents the Long family. We're the chess pieces of these two families, and now we have to see which one of us beats the other. Since Long Chen was the one to not care about the rules first, he can't blame us for being vicious. Do you think the higher-ups don't know about our fight with the 8th Legion? They are well aware. As long as we don't personally kill anyone, what can they say? A sinister smile appeared on Yi Ling Feng's face. But if it's further investigated, we, the vice commander did not want to end up becoming a scapegoat over this matter. That kind of death would be far too sullen. Perhaps the commander would be spared, but he and the other vice commander would be in danger. After all, a scapegoat had to be a perfect fit that wasn't too big to be important but not too small to seem inconsequential. The vice commander position was a perfect fit for such a thing. Yi Ling Feng sneered. Do you have a problem with your head? Don't you remember how Long Chen just conned us? Even if it's investigated. We will say that the heavy losses we took meant that we had to take some drastic measures to make up for it. We launched a large sneak attack while our enemies were paralyzed. There were no problems around our strategy, but suddenly some unexpected things occurred, resulting in some of the demonic beasts breaking out of the encirclement and charging into the 8th Legion's camp. Who can guarantee that a battle will go according to plan? Who can guarantee that no accidents will occur? Since that's the case, who can say anything? At worst, we'll just have to give some compensation. No matter how much that compensation is. Do you think the Yi family won't support us in secret? The vice commander immediately said. The commander is wise hurry up. Yi Ling Fen waved his hand. Sending him off. He clenched his fists. Long Chen. I'll teach you what regret is. The demonic beasts had grown in number over the past few days. The battle last time had made them wary. 
Shen Chen Fen had found that there were even more demonic beasts guarding their old camp. Clearly, they also knew that the Eighth Legion might want to reclaim it. Chen Feng, isn't this strange? You've killed so many demonic beasts. Why haven't any of the stronger members of the demonic beasts come? Asked Long Chen. Due to the immense battle that occurred here, the laws have created a suppression so that even existences that surpass the Nether Passage Realm are suppressed back to the level of the Nether Passage Realm. That's why we won't encounter any experts on that level. The human race is the same. Those above the Nether Passage Realm will also be suppressed. If they came, it would be dangerous for them. For example, if it was you and you were suppressed to the Xi'anshan Realm, wouldn't you feel wronged if you then died to a group of Xi'anshan rookies? Explained Shen Chen Feng. Ah, I see. Long Chen nodded. That's not all. The ancient battlefield has countless mystical places. Some regions will strip a person of their spiritual strength and some are cut off from the heavenly deos. Some places will essentially turn you into a mortal. To sum up, there are far too many unknowns about this place, and the demonic beasts are in our way if we want to go deeper. As a result, this battle has continued for countless years. The demonic beasts prevent us from exploring the entire ancient battlefield. Only those on the level of senior Feng Fei dare to enter its depths. Side Shen Chen Feng. Is Feng Fei truly so powerful? Long Chen frowned. Based on Shen Chen Feng's tone, it was like Feng Fei was a god. It's not just that she's powerful, it's that she's so powerful that it brings forth despair. You've never seen her fight, so you don't know. But based on my understanding of the two of you, I still feel like she's above you. Your chances of winning would be less than 20%, said Shen Chen Feng sincerely. It seems that she really is powerful, said Long Chen. For someone as steady as Shen Chen Feng to say such a thing after seeing him fight meant that she was truly powerful. Shen Chen Feng suddenly looked at him so oddly that Long Chen started to get goosebumps. What are you looking at me like that for? Shen Chen Feng looked around, and seeing no one around, he whispered, I've heard that Brother Long is unparalleled at picking up girls. Let me tell you, if you could seduce, cough, if you could move her heart, you would no longer have any enemies. What? Where did you hear that from? Long Chen almost spat. When had he earned the title of unparalleled at picking up girls? Whoever had come up with that definitely wanted him to be beaten up. He, does this need to be said? You have so many heavenly fairies by your side who love you so deeply. Who else has that ability? Senior Feng Fei is very prideful. So most people aren't qualified to even enter her sight. If you could obtain her heart, you would truly be a tiger with wings. In my eyes, your talent isn't inferior to hers. You are only lacking her support. Long Chen shook his head. I, Long Chen, don't need to do such a thing, right? I've managed to keep my integrity until now even if I have nothing else. I won't lower my head like that. Sorry, I wasn't trying to put it that way. Shen Chen Feng apologized. Long Chen had his own pride. To rely on seducing a woman to climb was practically an insult to him. It was true that whoever obtained Feng Fei's favor would instantly become a dragon, but Long Chen disdained doing such a thing. Despite Shen Chen Feng's good intentions, the atmosphere was now a bit awkward. Long Chen said, It's fine. Let's discuss how we'll take back our camp. Yes, let's talk about real matters. Shen Chen Feng hastily nodded, trying to forget about that awkward topic. Have you bought everything that I asked for? Asked Long Che yes. But are those things really capable of taking back our territory? Asked Shen Chen Feng curiously. The list that Long Chen had given him was full of nonsense to Shen Chen Feng. There were some random medicines, sulfur powder, lime dust, and most incomprehensible of all, gongs, drums, and firecrackers. Even though he had questions, he had still bought them all. The divine families had everything except the firecrackers. So he had been forced to go to the Martial Heaven Continent to buy those. All right, then I'll teach you one more move today. Remember, those with powerful martial force don't need to use their heads. There are only two reasons to do such a thing. One is if two sides are equally matched in power. So you need to use your head to increase your chances of victory. The other reason is to use the smallest price to make the greatest gains, said Long Chen. Then we're doing the latter this time. No, we're doing neither. 
I want to piss off Yi Lingfen to the point that he simply dies from rage. I want Yi Lingfen to know that the goal isn't to play with him. The goal is to play him to death, said Long Chen sinisterly. All right, let's talk to our brothers about the plan. Tomorrow, we will reclaim our land. Get excited. I'll bring you to play a game that will definitely stimulate you. Chapter 2376 Reclaiming the Camp Translator Born to be the next day, the 8th Legion moved out in high spirits. The warriors were completely different from before. Their broken down armor had been replaced, and their weapons were also new. Their eyes were full of new confidence, which stemmed from their heavy pockets. Following Long Chen's suggestion, the Legion itself had only kept a tenth of their gains from the last operation. The rest had been split between every individual warrior Novaloon.com with their pockets full, their backs naturally straightened. They had equipped themselves and bought some helpful talismans and other items that could potentially save their lives. They had had high expectations for Long Chen from the start, and he hadn't disappointed them. Now that Long Chen was leading them on another expedition, they felt their blood heating up. It could be said that the entire 8th Legion had undergone a transformation. When they were getting close to their original camp, Long Chen waved his hand, and everyone immediately stopped. Brothers, our camp is right ahead. That is the place where we once spilled our blood. That place is our pride and our humiliation. Countless brothers died in battle there, and we lost it. We've disappointed those brothers. Today, we will reclaim it and wipe away our humiliation. We'll use the heads of the demonic beasts as an offering to our fallen brothers. Use their blood to carve our brilliance. Use their corpses as proof to everyone that the 8th Legion is rising. Everyone who looks down on us will know that our fortunes have changed. Brothers, we fight for our honor. For honor, the voices of the 8th Legion's warriors shook the land. Shen Chen Feng also clenched his fists. The 8th Legion had always been full of potential, but he had never been able to draw it out. With just one battle, Long Chen had completely transformed them. He was ashamed of himself but also filled with anticipation for what was next. He saw many things that he didn't possess within Long Chen. He also saw a quality that none of the commanders of the Heavenly Dragon Legion possessed. It was the confidence that was built up within Long Chen's bones that made it seem like there was nothing he couldn't solve, that posed a fatal charisma to others. Excellent. This is precisely the state required to grasp victory from danger. Everyone, I'll give you an hour to reach your peak state. Look over your bodies and your equipment. Send scouts to keep an eye on the surroundings. If there's anything suspicious, report it immediately, ordered Long Chen. Everyone made their final checks before the battle. Some went out to scout the surroundings, and they quickly returned to report that there was nothing off. Shen Chen Feng secretly said, The tripwire we set before has been triggered. Long Chen smiled and didn't say anything. An incense sticks worth of time later. He waved his hand. Move out. Didn't you say to wait an hour? Asked Shen Chen Feng. That was just for others to hear. Did you believe it? Why would we need an hour to prepare for battle said Long Chen. Reclaiming their camp would not be playing house. It would be a bloody battle. Who would really be so careless as to not check their equipment before coming? Such a lie would have been instantly seen through in the secular world. Not even a child would believe it. However, in the cultivation world, where power was everything, it seemed that such a lie was believable. Since even Shen Chen Feng had believed it. Long Chen was no longer worried about his enemies not believing it. They quickly arrived at a narrow pass. On one side, space was constantly warping, with a frightening black hole at the center. On the other side was a giant mountain covered in ice. The icy air coming off of it made people feel like their souls would freeze if they even looked at it. That was also a place that no one could approach. Between them was the camp of the 8th Legion. However, all the buildings had been torn down. Countless demonic beasts were residing within the camp now. This camp was a checkpoint that had to be passed in order to enter deeper into the ancient battlefield. Just defending it before had been taxing for the 8th Legion. Now that they were forced to be the attackers, they would have to pay a terrible price considering how much of an advantage the terrain gave to the defenders. Suddenly, a roar came from within the camp. Following that, the demonic beasts began to pour out. Little human race, coming here is sending yourselves to die. 
You should scram, shouted one of the Titan Blood Bowl demons. Long Chen, something's wrong. It seems like there are fewer demonic beasts here than before. Furthermore, they're telling us to scram instead of directly attacking, said Shen Chen Fang. After the last sneak attack, the demonic beasts here had increased in number, but now they had decreased again. They're baiting us. Even demonic beasts play these kinds of schemes, but their intelligence is far too low. Use the formation disk to check the surrounding space and see if there's anything hiding, said Long Chen. Commander, there are countless terrifying auras in the surroundings. They are dozens of times greater than what they appear on the surface, exclaimed one of the vice commanders suddenly. With their new wealth, Long Chen had had them by a powerful sensing formation that now managed to sense countless powerful auras hiding. Long Chen waved his hand. Everything is within expectations. We aren't hiding that we are going to reclaim our land. Weren't we shouting over there as well just so that they could prepare themselves? But this little scheme of theirs is excellent. They're practically cooperating with us. We don't have to waste as many of the things as we have prepared. The time's about right. So we can attack. Shen Chen Feng immediately gave the order. He summoned his manifestation and charged into the army of the demonic beasts. As soon as Shen Chen Feng moved, the various crossbows set up at the rear unleashed long-distance attacks, tearing a path through the demonic beasts all the way into the camp. Shen Chen Feng charged into the camp, only to find that the demonic beasts here were extremely weak, unable to bear a single blow from him. Those demonic beasts began to flee when he entered. Commander, the surrounding demonic beasts are starting to surround us, shouted the vice commander with the sensor apparatus. No need to bother with them. Have the people at the rear slow down a bit. We'll just all enter and follow the plan, said Long Chen. The eight Phlegian's warriors slowly entered their old camp. The first wave immediately began setting up a tower. This tower wasn't an arrow tower. It was specially set up for extremely long-range shots. Normally, it shot out distress signals asking for aid. After all, nothing was guaranteed on the battlefield, and other items used for sending messages might end up losing effect right when they were needed. This long-range tower could save someone's life at such a time. This tower was able to shoot arrows with special runes for breaking through space, and that allowed them to shoot extremely far. But unfortunately, that was all. Its arrows didn't possess killing power. After it was set up, Long Chen stood on top of it and looked into the distance. At this time, those hidden demonic beasts were starting to surround them secretly. As long as all the eight Phlegian entered their camp, they would instantly pounce. Why are they so slow? Yi Lingfang, you better not disappoint me. Long Chen looked into the distance, his confidence starting to flag. He couldn't have run into something unexpected. Right? Have the warriors slow down and stall for more time, ordered Long Chen. A moment later, Shen Chen Feng's expression changed. The demonic beasts seem to be losing patience. They're not waiting any longer. Fuck. What is Yi Ling Feng doing? He can't even do something so small? Have everyone get in, said Long Chen helplessly. Just at that moment, the surrounding demonic beasts came out from their hiding places and attacked from every direction. Ha ha ha. Good, good. They also came. Suddenly, Long Chen saw the space in the distance collapse. Countless demonic beasts were chasing a group of people over. Seeing Yi Ling Feng, Long Chen was delighted. Chapter 2377 Who is Conning Who? Translator. Born to be has Yi Ling Feng gone mad. If we all die here, he won't be getting out alive either. Shen Chen Feng was shocked and enraged that Yi Ling Feng would do such a thing. They saw Yi Ling Feng dragging a giant dragon shaped flying boat with his three war chariots. This flying boat was the Divine Family's supreme killing item, the Divine Dragon Tyrant Crossbow. The body of the boat was the body of the crossbow, while the two wings were the arms. The string was dozens of meters thick. There were giant arrows constantly being fired. Every time the string quivered, a giant arrow would pierce through the void. It didn't matter what cultivation base the demonic beasts had, they would still be blasted apart. This was a weapon capable of even killing heaven elders. It was an extremely important treasure and also the strongest trump card of the third legion. But it was so huge that it required three war chariots just to move it. Every shot of it was incredibly expensive. 
Even if the Eighth Legion had won, they couldn't afford to use it. It was the sight of the Divine Dragon Tyrant crossbow that infuriated Shen Chen Feng the most. Yi Ling Feng actually wanted them all dead. Yi Ling Feng sneered. He saw Long Chen and the others surrounded by the demonic beasts. Stop shooting. There's no need to waste more arrows suddenly. The earth exploded and a giant bubble of light appeared in a certain spot. The chariots pulled into the bubble and space began to twist. This was actually a giant transportation formation capable of being set up within the ancient battlefield. Yi Ling Feng had clearly come prepared. Due to the size of the Divine Dragon Tyrant crossbow, they couldn't move that far with the formation, but it would definitely be enough to get out of sight. Despite the short range, just this one formation had come at an incredible price. Yi Ling Feng had truly put down the capital to eliminate Long Chen and the Eighth Legion. Long Chen. Just let me properly enjoy the sight of you dying, sneered Yi Ling Feng. What is that? Suddenly, the second commander pointed out the tower that Long Chen was on. It's used for sending messages. Who are they trying to message? No, it's pointed right at us. Boom. The tower lit up, and an arrow tore through space. As it got close to them, it suddenly exploded into multicolored powder like a beautiful firework. It seems different from the fluctuations of a distress signal. What are they doing? Ignore them. Activate the transportation formation, ordered Yi Ling Feng. He also felt that something was a bit off. Commander, the surrounding spatial fluctuations have changed. The formation is unable to activate, cried the second commander suddenly. The transportation formation quivered a few times when he tried to activate it, but nothing else happened. Long Chen must have set this up. He broke our transportation formation. We dug our own graves. The third commander quickly fell into despair. This meant that they were doomed. The second commander kept trying, roaring. That arrow contained spatial chaos dust. We won't be able to use the transportation formation temporarily. How long? Demanded Yi Ling Feng. At least an hour. But the demonic beasts we drew over will arrive within a minute. Then the formation will still be useless as their attacks will disrupt space. The second commander also fell into despair. At this moment, furious roars suddenly rang out. Yi Ling Feng was shocked to find that somehow, Long Chen and the Eighth Legion had vanished. As for the demonic beasts that had surrounded them, having lost their target, they now cut the Third Legion off at the rear. Bastards. They definitely used the hidden transportation formation set up underground. Raged Yi Ling Feng. The camps had secret formations set up underground. Those formations had been built up for hundreds of years. Even if the camp was lost, the demonic beasts wouldn't know the secret entrance to those formations. So they could only destroy the buildings above ground. There was a secret transportation formation underground. But it was not to be used unless there was no other choice. If it was activated, it would expose the secret of the formations underground. However, today, Shen Chen Feng had activated it bringing everyone away. They had also destroyed the entrance. The demonic beasts hadn't even understood what was happening. They had just felt a powerful explosion that had killed the ones closest to the camp before Long Chen and the others had vanished without a trace. A strange scent hung in the air after the explosion. Any demonic beast that smelled it would start becoming violent. Their eyes reddened, and without any considerations, they charged over at Ji Ling Feng and the others. Have the three chariots surround the Divine Dragon Tyrant crossbow. We'll set up our defenses here. Send out distress calls for aid. Shouted Yi Ling Feng. It was too late to run. If the Divine Dragon Tyrant crossbow was pointed in the direction of the camp, then by using its power, he was 80% confident in being able to charge through. Unfortunately, it was pointing in the wrong direction, and with its giant body, Turning it around would take more than the few seconds that they had before their enemies arrived. They had no choice but to endure here and hope for reinforcements. Yi Ling Feng quickly gave orders. Transfer the Divine Dragon Tyrant Crossbow's power to the War Chariots. It's no longer useful. The Divine Dragon Tyrant Crossbow began to blaze with light. That light poured into the three chariots. The chariots rumbled. Runic swords shot out. Slaughtering the approaching demonic beasts. Using the chariots, they formed a domain of death for the demonic beasts. However, 
There were still cracks between the chariots that were covered by the third Legion's warriors. They couldn't allow the demonic beasts to charge through to the Divine Dragon Tyrant Crossbow. The Divine Dragon Tyrant Crossbow was currently their greatest source of power. If it was broken, then just the three chariots alone would not last even an incense stick's worth of time before running out of energy. Brothers, endure. The distress signal has been sent out, and we've received a reply that people will come save us, shouted Yi Lingfang. The divine families would send word to the other experts in the ancient battlefield to come assist them as soon as they received the distress signal. They only had to endure until those reinforcements arrived. Unfortunately, enduring until then was not easy. These demonic beasts were attacking crazily without fear for their own lives. These demonic beasts. Did they take the wrong medicine? Why are they so crazy? The third Legion's warriors were all green with fright due to the crazy demonic beasts. It feels off. They've become far more violent than they usually are. These demonic beasts were just foolishly charging up to the chariots, completely ignoring the runic swords blasting out of them. After the first wave died, the second wave would take its place. There was no end to them. Fuck. It's definitely something Long Chen did. Yi Lingfen clenched his teeth furiously. Although he didn't know what had happened, he was sure that he had been schemed against by Long Chen again. Commander, Long Chen and the others have returned. Through the cracks between the tide of demonic beasts, the third legion could see the camp. What they saw made their heads almost explode. Long Chen and the eighth legion were currently in the process of setting up their defenses. Once everything was set up there, they could reactivate the formations to restore the camp to the way it was before. Then the demonic beasts would find it extremely difficult to break through again. The reason that it had been broken through last time was because Shen Chen Feng and the majority of the Eighth Legion's warriors had been forced to guard the Yun Yang world, while someone else had lured a mass of demonic beasts over. In truth, the Eighth Legion's camp was stronger than the Seventh Legion's because the Eighth Legion was so weak. As a result, the defensive camp was their trump card that protected their lives. That was also why they had become such a joke after losing it. For them to lose even with such a powerful defensive trump card was a humiliation. Now, Long Chen was standing on top of the new buildings with a bright smile. Beside him Shen Chen Feng said, I never imagined that we could take back our camp without spilling a single drop of blood. All they had done was charge into the camp, unleash an arrow, charge underground, set off an explosion, and then use the formation to return to their second camp. When they returned, the demonic beasts were ignoring them and crazily attacking Yi Lingfang. They could enjoy that side as they rebuilt their camp. They've spotted us, said Shen Chen Feng. It's curious, said Long Chen. What's curious? Their gazes don't seem too friendly. It's so puzzling. Yes, it really is puzzling. Shen Chen Feng and Long Chen exchanged a glance and burst into laughter. Chapter 2378 No Choice But To Save Them Translator born to be the warriors of the Eighth Legion quickly set up their constructions. Once it was complete, the underground formation would turn their camp into a powerful stronghold once more. They were well prepared, quickly setting up everything. One giant building after another was built. As they did that, the demonic beasts on the battlefield didn't even look at them. They were still busy assaulting Yi Lingfeng and the others in a crazy assault. Is this the effect of the bewitching medicine? Shen Cheng Feng suddenly came to a realization. Yes, it definitely is. After all, they aren't humans, so it's easy to stimulate their desires. They're so crazy that they're even killing some of their comrades. Do the divine families not know this? Asked Long Chen. Shen Cheng Feng shook his head. Perhaps the senior generation might know more about it, but I never knew. Even if I did, it wouldn't matter. Wouldn't using that medicine against them just be conning myself? That's not entirely true. In this berserk state, they'll follow you wherever you led them. As long as you have a trap set up, the demonic beasts will come charging in. It can greatly increase your efficiency. You get to decide how to best use the tools at your disposal, said Long Chen. Reporting, the formation platforms have been built. Are the defenses to be set up? Reported one warrior. The 36 formation platforms were the connections to the underground formation. It could summon a powerful barrier that would prove that they had taken back their camp. 
Shen Chen Feng was about to give the order to activate it when he looked toward Long Chen. Brother Long, are we activating it? Long Chen shook his head. Not yet. Activating the formation first will make it more time consuming to set up the other formation platforms. There's no threat to us yet, so we should get the most out of it. Set up the offensive formation platforms. There are the arrow towers and such that need to be set up. Just have the necessary people standing by to activate the defensive formation at a moment's notice. Shen Chen Feng nodded and had that warrior follow those instructions. In just these few days, he had learned many things from Long Chen. Long Chen, Shen Chen Feng, neither one of you will have a good death. Suddenly, a hoarse and hysterical voice rang out from within the crazed roaring of the demonic beasts. It seems that he's cursing us. Long Chen shrugged, reporting to the commander. A portion of the offensive platforms has also been set up. Another warrior came running over. Long Chen smiled. While the formation wasn't active, it was very quick to set up the formation platforms. Activate it. The earth trembled and one platform after another lit up. A light blue curtain of light gradually condensed in the sky. It started off frail looking, as if it might tear with the slightest touch. But as the energy of the platforms entered it, it quickly strengthened. Following that, countless runes began to appear within it, strengthening it even further. The grand formation had been summoned. Shen Chen Feng finally felt a weight fall off his shoulders. All the heavenly dragon warriors cheered. What are you shouting for? If you want to celebrate, then go all out. Brothers, start the drums and gongs. Light the firecrackers and sing. Long Chen waved his hand. Only at that moment did Shen Chen Feng understand why Long Chen had wanted those things. A loud clamor began to ring out of the camp. It was like beating the drums and making noise was unburdening them of their resentment. Damn. Long Chen felt his ears and soul shaking. These fellows really knew how to make noise. It was so bad that he himself was in pain. However, the warriors were immersed in their delight and almost seemed to be competing with each other to see who could make the most noise. Some drums and gongs were broken in their excitement from a bad hit. Even if they didn't have an instrument, they would start banging their weapons together. Shen Chen Feng shouted, Is there a need for us to suffer like this? However, he couldn't even hear himself. What did you say? Transmitted Long Chen. Shen Chen Feng repeated himself through a spiritual transmission. Of course, those fellows will definitely be feeling ten times worse than us. Long Chen snickered. This really is tough to endure, grumbled Shen Chen Feng. Well, we're not professional musicians. As long as it makes them happy, even farting can become beautiful as the eighth legion unleashed a clamor. Yi Ling Feng almost coughed up blood. Long Chen had used him to reclaim the 8th Legion's camp without spilling a drop of blood. He saw that the formation had been set up. The clamor coming from their celebration wasn't even drowned out by the roars of the demonic beasts. As a result, he really coughed up a mouthful of blood. Long Chen, if I don't tear your corpse to pieces, I won't be surnamed Yi, roared Yi Ling Feng. His hatred for Long Chen had reached an indescribable level. Commander. The demonic beasts are attacking too fiercely. The energy of the divine dragon tyrant crossbow will only last for half an incense stick's worth of time. Our reinforcements are still in our way. It doesn't seem like they'll make it, said the vice commander. Although they had been a bit panicked at the beginning, they had calmed back down after the distress signal had been sent out and they received a reply. The thing that had caught them off guard was how fierce these demonic beasts were. They were charging forward so recklessly that they were rapidly draining the third legion's energy reserves. Even a heaven elder would be unable to endure such a terrifying assault. Commander, our only option is to beg Long Chen for help, said that vice commander. You're dreaming. I'd rather die, roared Yi Ling Feng. Commander, as long as people are alive, they have a chance at vengeance, replied the vice commander. Yi Ling Feng ground his teeth. Seeing the endless army of demonic beasts as well as the runes of the divine dragon tyrant crossbow starting to fade, he smashed his fist against the ground. Long Chen, I have something to say to you, shouted Yi Ling Feng, transmitting his voice far into the distance. However, even after shouting three times, he didn't receive a reply. This made him feel so angry that his face turned purple. They want us to die, 
Yi Lingfeng's teeth almost broke from how hard he was grinding them. No, they can't. They clearly have the power to save us. If they refuse to help, that would go against the rules of the divine families. Shen Chen Feng and the others would be executed, with only the regular warriors getting off with stern punishment. They wouldn't dare to do that. Long Chen is intentionally making noise to drown out our requests for aid. That way, he has an excuse to ignore us. We have to use a distress signal so that he has no excuse, said the vice commander. Fine, release the distress signal. An arrow shot out toward the camp, but the distance between them was too great. It exploded midway, unleashing a dazzle of light. Long Chen waved his hand to get the warriors to Quiton down, but they seemed to be enraptured in their noise making. Only when the people beside them kicked them did they stop. When everyone stopped, Shen Chen Feng sighed with relief. He suddenly felt that having the world be quiet was an exceptionally wonderful thing. If this had continued, he probably would have vomited. Long Chen, we are surrounded by danger. Do you dare to just watch without helping? Roared Yi Ling Feng. This is how he begs for help. Long Chen's expression became odd. These are the rules of the divine families. If you have the power to help but just watch, the leaders will be executed, while the others will be expelled. Even if Yi Ling Feng remains this arrogant, we have no choice, said Shen Chen Feng. What about when they were conning you? Since they dared to do that, it meant that they were confident in escaping from the consequences. All rules have loopholes within them. Just listen to me and I guarantee that there won't be any mishaps, said Long Chen. He then shouted toward the battlefield. Yi Ling Feng, are you begging me for help? It seems that your attitude doesn't fit that. Long Chen, don't give me that crap. If we die, you'll also meet a miserable fate, roared Yi Ling Feng. Fine, you've won. We'll save you right now. Brothers, fire your arrows. Long Chen waved his hand. A rain of arrows fell that made Yi Ling Feng tremble with rage. Long Chen, you go too far. Chapter 2379 Weeping from Being Con Translator Born to be following Long Chen's order, a rain of arrows fell, but the arrow towers weren't touched at all. Instead, the warriors of the 8th Legion had shot directly with bows. What kind of range did those bows have? Well, the arrows didn't even manage to fly outside the barrier before landing on the ground. Did you all not eat before coming? You don't have the slightest power. How are you supposed to save them like this? Shouted Long Chen. One of the warriors grumbled. It's not our fault. We worked our butts off setting up the formation platforms. We're exhausted don't talk nonsense. Why not shoot the long-range cannons? Shouted Long Chen. We haven't set them all up yet. We can't use them. It'll take at least two hours to prepare them, said that warrior. Why would it take that long? Demanded Long Chen. We were too nervous and made a few mistakes with our initial setup, so we'll need to fix those issues first. All right, then we have no choice but to keep shooting arrows. Just show that you're putting in your full effort. Humans can only do their best. The results are up to fate, declared Long Chen helplessly. Long Chen made sure his words were transmitted far enough for Yi Ling Feng to hear. He wanted to save them, but he simply didn't have enough time. But not to worry, as long as Yi Ling Feng lasted another two hours, Long Chen would be able to save them. Long Chen, you. What? I can't do anything. For people to be nervous during such a large battle is natural. The Divine Family's rules are very clear. As long as you can guarantee your own safety. It is the death penalty not to save your comrades. But we are clearly not in that situation. You can't expect us to throw away our lives for nothing. Commander Yi, I'm sorry, but don't worry. Once you die, we'll make sure to burn some extra paper money for you so that you'll be worry-free underground, said Long Chen. Go in peace, shouted the warriors of the 8th Legion in unison. The vein on Yi Ling Feng's forehead looked like it might explode. Their defenses were growing weaker as more of them were killed. With their morale shattered, their defenses might instantly crack at any moment. Novaloon.com Long Chen, what do you want to save us? Yi Ling Feng had to admit that he had lost. With his understanding of the 8th Legion's camp, he knew that Long Chen definitely had the power to save them. But it seemed that Long Chen didn't want to save him and didn't care about the possible consequences. He could escape without blame which worried Yi Lingfang. 
These demonic beasts were drawn over by you in order to screw us over. Now you've screwed yourself. You spun your web and are now caught in it. No one would blame us for not wanting to save you. But due to your service to the divine families, I can give you a way to live. I don't have many conditions. If we save you, then all the demonic beast corpses on this battlefield belong to us, said Long Chen. Impossible. We have paid so much, and so many of our brothers have fallen. What are we supposed to do if we give everything to you? Hao Ji Ling Feng. This was an ocean's worth of points. Long Chen ignored him and shouted, Brothers, have the weapons been repaired? Soon, there is still three incense sticks worth of time, and then we can fight. Long Chen nodded, Not bad, it's even faster than expected. Keep working hard. Turning around, he announced, Commander Yi, although you've declined, I still wish to help you, so don't worry. As long as you can last another three incense sticks worth of time, we will immediately activate the formation to save you. Endure. I look favorably upon you. Even half an incense sticks worth of time seemed unlikely in this scenario. They were like a flickering candle in the wind. You win. Everything will belong to you. Yi Lingfeng finally submitted. Brothers, how are the repairs now? Asked Long Chen. Reporting. We found that our initial setup wasn't wrong actually. And after a few minor adjustments, things have been fixed. The formation can be activated haha, <laughs> excellent. Brothers, our allies are in danger. Can we just watch as those merciless demonic beasts slaughter them? Activate the killing formation and wipe them out, shouted Long Chen. The land began to shine. Arrows shot through the air at the distant battlefield. At the same time, one particular arrow exploded in the sky, causing purple powder to scatter throughout the battlefield. The originally crazy demonic beast suddenly weakened. Their attack slowed as well. What's going on? Asked Shen Chen Feng. How could a single arrow affect millions of demonic beasts? What is there to be surprised about? It's the antidote. It's just like someone who used medicine to push himself over their limits and then instantly withers when the effect fades. Said Long Chen. These demonic beasts had been attacking so fiercely because of the bewitching medicine which caused them to overdraft their energy. That was why their assault had been enough to pressure Yi Lingfeng. After fighting for so long, they had run out of energy. With the antidote removing the effects of the medicine, these demonic beasts could barely remain standing. Arrows rained down across the battlefield. Those arrows then transformed into pillars sealing the battlefield. Long Chen shouted, Commander Yi, bring your people away. Yi Lingfeng's three war chariots rumbled. The demonic beasts couldn't stop them and were blown out of the way. The chariots easily escaped. However, their original 30,000 troops had lost 5,000 of its members. That was a huge loss to the third legion. More and more arrows rained down, transforming into runic chains that completely locked up the battlefield. The demonic beasts inside were powerless to break free, and Yi Lingfeng's eyes turned green. These demonic beasts would all belong to Long Chen. Just at this moment, a luxurious carriage broke through the void and rushed over. Senior Feng Fei there was no one within the divine families who wouldn't recognize this carriage. It was the personal property of Feng Fei. No one had expected her to come. At the same time, they noticed that the carriage was dragging a giant corpse. It was a humanoid giant with a pair of blood-colored bat wings. There was a golden chain around its neck dragging it. That corpse gave off a chilling feeling. It was enough to strike terror into their hearts. Even the trapped demonic beast suddenly became still, not daring to make a noise. A blood-winged demon king. Heavens. Senior Feng Fei actually killed a blood-winged demon king and brought back its corpse. Exclaimed Shen Chen Feng. That corpse is very powerful. Long Chen also felt the immense pressure of the corpse. It gave off a threatening feeling. It was difficult to imagine just how powerful it was when it was still alive. Of course, the Bloodwing Demon Kings are existences that not even the Heaven Elders can do anything about. They come from the Emperor bloodline of the Demon Race. Only those with exceptionally pure bloodlines can reach the level of Demon Kings, and they all have exceptional statuses within the Demon Race. Just think about how many servants they must have to protect them. However, Senior Feng Fei was able to kill one and even bring back its intact corpse. Within this entire world, Perhaps only an expert on her level can do such a thing. 
said Shen Chen Fen worshipfully, his voice even shuddering a bit. What is going on here? Senior Feng Fei received word that someone was in trouble? Were you lying? One of the bodyguards overlooked the battlefield, and seeing everything was under control, he was angry. Yi Ling Feng suddenly felt like the world was spinning around him. He coughed up a mouthful of blood and had an urge to kill himself. Why hadn't he been able to endure just a few more seconds? Just a few more seconds, and there would have been no need for Long Chen to save them. Senior Feng Fei would have done it. Yi Ling Feng knelt on the ground and sobbed. Senior Feng Fei, please get justice for me. Long Chen conned us and made us lose over 5,000 warriors. He even swindled us of our spoils for this battle. This murdering scoundrel cannot have a good death. Toward the end, the mighty commander of the glorious heavenly dragon Legion began to simply weep. Long Chen, the bodyguard's expression twitched. He looked at the distant figure within the barrier, and a vein jumped on his forehead. This was the same bodyguard who had tried to strike Long Chen with his whip before. As a result, Long Chen had taken his whip and returned the strike. Long Chen, shouldn't you get the hell out here and explain shouted the bodyguard. Who do you think you are understand that you're a dog, and I don't eat dog meat. Don't force me to be a butcher, said Long Chen coldly. This person was a pig who didn't remember his beatings. It seemed like his last lesson hadn't left a deep enough impression. Suddenly, all the third Legion's warriors came out of their chariots and knelt on the ground, crying, Senior Feng Fei, please get justice for us. Chapter 2380 Going back on one's word translator, born to be the third Legion's warriors were all kneeling in front of Feng Fei's carriage, looking like the very image of aggrieved people. The curtain to the carriage was pulled open, and a tall woman walked out. Her face was icy but attractive. This Feng Fei she's not as beautiful as I imagined, whispered Long Chen. That's her servant, replied Shen Chen Feng. Damn, even the servant is so arrogant? Then what of the master? Long Chen's lips curled. This maid was already seemingly looking down on everyone, to the point that Long Chen had thought that she was Feng Fei. The servant pulled open the curtain, and out walked a woman in a red dress. As soon as she appeared, an invisible pressure unfurled. That woman was definitely far more beautiful but also colder. Her hair was tied up in a high bun, with a golden phoenix pin as an accessory. Her beauty was enough to make others collapse, but that beauty wasn't something that others could enjoy. It felt like looking at her was committing a sin. She also had many ornaments on her. Her slender fingers had rings, her wrists had bracelets, her neck had a necklace, and even the string binding her hair was a divine item. Seeing those various ornaments, Long Chen's eyes widened. He had previously thought that he had money, but no, this was true money. His vision was sharp enough to recognize that the golden threads weaving through her hair were a divine material that Guo Ran had looked far and wide for, the Tao seeking spirit gold. Guo Ran disliked cultivating, so he was always looking for other things that could strengthen himself. Other than his armor, he had thought of a cultivation suit. Something that could passively increase his cultivation base even while sleeping. However, although he had designed such a suit, he was lacking many things. One of them was the Tao Seeking Spirit Gold. Something that could not be bought on the Martial Heaven continent. Feng Fei walked out of the carriage with four female attendants standing behind her. Her gaze didn't even glance at Ji Ling Feng. Instead, she looked at Long Chen. Greetings. Senior Feng Fei Shen Chen Feng and the others hastily went down to one knee. Only Long Chen continued to stand there, becoming extremely conspicuous. Brazen, one of Feng Fei's attendants began to shout. Feng Fei raised her hand, stopping her. She said, I hear that you can count as quite the figure on the Martial Heaven continent. I didn't expect you to be so shameful. Long Chen shook his head. Oh, what have I done that is so shameful? Feng Fei had clearly received some information in the distress signal or had noticed something from the battlefield. Your glid mouth makes people look down on you even more. Haha, <laughs> I've never needed others to not look down on me. I don't live for others to watch me, laughed Long Chen. Senior Feng Fei, I know you're very busy, right? You are in the heavens, and I am on the earth. There's nothing for us to discuss. There's also a communication problem between two people from such different places. Let's both get back to our own work. We still have many things to do. 
This little home of ours is unworthy for a goddess like yourself, so we won't invite you in for a stay. Other than that, we just took back our camp, so we have a lot of work to do. I hope you'll forgive us for our poor hospitality. Long Chen turned back to the people behind him. What are you all kneeling foolishly for? Shouldn't you get to work? You shameless fellows. All you know how to do is goof off. If the demonic beasts come back, what are we going to do? Clean up the battlefield and repair the camp. We have work to do. You. Frost appeared on Feng Fei's face. Within all the divine families, only a few people dared to speak to her like this. Long Chen was turning her away. He was essentially telling her to leave Novaloon.com. You can't take them. Those are ours. Roared Yi Lingfeng. Getting in their way. Damn. You're this shameless Long Chen stared in shock at Yi Lingfeng. Just now. You swore in front of everyone that as long as we helped, the spoils would be ours. That, that was coerced and can't count, declared Yi Lingfeng. Although backing out was an extreme loss of face, compared to the huge losses he had taken, he didn't care. Without these spoils of war, he and the rest of the Third Legion would have to go through many bitter days. The fallen warriors would have their families compensated partly by the Divine Families and the Legion. If the Legion didn't have the money, the divine families would cover that payment and the legion would have to make up for it later. The 8th legion didn't dare to make any big moves partly because they couldn't afford to lose any more members. This time, the 3rd legion had lost thousands of warriors, and ignoring their other losses, just the compensation for their deaths would bankrupt them. If they didn't have these corpses to make up for those losses, they might even have to sell their chariots and the divine dragon tyrant crossbow to pay for it all. Without those weapons, they would just be like the 8th Legion. It was unknown just how many years it would be before they could recover. Those huge losses made Yi Lingfeng not care about his face. The points were more important. By borrowing Feng Fei's pressure, he wanted to force Long Chen and Shen Chen Feng to spit out those spoils. Coercion? Ha ha ha. Commander Yi, from the start, you've been using schemes. We wanted to take back our camp. So you drew over many demonic beasts to harm us. When we realized this, we fled, and you were ensnared in your own trap. You begged us for help, so we risked our lives to save you. Now you say it was coercion? Ha ha ha. So these are the teachings of the divine families? You want Senior Feng Fei to settle things for you? All right, then let me see how Senior Feng Fei decides on this matter, said Long Chen. Feng Fei's expression sank. The information she had received was that Long Chen had harmed the Third Legion by using demonic beasts to trap them. But now she understood that things weren't so simple. She was angered by this. Yi Lingfeng actually dared to send out a false report. If she had directly suppressed Long Chen, she would have been used by Yi Lingfeng. Senior Feng Fei, don't listen to his nonsense. We were suddenly attacked by demonic beasts and unable to handle them. This is a coincidence explained Yi Lingfeng in a panic upon seeing killing intent within Feng Fei's eyes. Feng Fei coldly said, You're safe now, so my responsibility is done. For anything else, you should find the heaven executioner to deal with it. I don't have time for this nonsense. If you dare to lie to me again, don't blame me for being vicious. Feng Fei turned and entered her carriage. It quickly vanished beyond the horizon. With Feng Fei gone. Yi Lingfeng was dumbfounded. Long Chen clapped his hands. Commander Yi, you've really opened my eyes to the world. I've never seen such shamelessness. But even so, it's just embarrassing to you. Scram. You only conned yourself. I'll wait for you to report us to the heaven executioner if you wish. Long Chen, just wait. The Yi family won't let you off. Roared Yi Lingfeng before leaving. The three war chariots were now a bit broken down and they tottered slightly as they flew through the air. The Divine Dragon Tyrant crossbow was also moving slowly in such a way that people were worried that it might fall. Victory the 8th Legion's warriors cheered. They had never seen tactics played like this. They had taken back their camp and gained countless corpses without spilling a single drop of blood. Upon cleaning up the battlefield, they realized why Yi Lingfen would be so shameless as to go back on his word. There really were enough corpses here for him to do that. There was also a line of corpses that stretched far into the distance as a result of Yi Lingfeng shooting the Divine Dragon Tyrant crossbow on his way here. 
reporting to the commander. In the distance, the corpses suddenly vanish. Yi Lingfeng must have secretly taken them. Let him. We can just treat it as charity to a beggar. The Eighth Legion is not rich enough not to be so petty, laughed Long Chen. Going through the battlefield took a full day. Once everything was tallied up, Shen Chen Feng almost jumped. The points that they could be exchanged for could strengthen the overall power of the Eighth Legion by ten times. However, just at that moment, the higher-ups from the Divine Family sent orders requesting Long Chen and everyone from the Eighth Legion to return for an investigation. Their camp would temporarily be left to the Second Legion. This will probably be trouble, sighed Shen Chen Feng. It'll be fine. I'm used to this kind of thing. Long Chen patted Shen Chen Feng's shoulder with a smile. After passing the camp to the Second Legion, they returned to the Divine Families. This time, he should be able to learn more about the interior of the Divine Families.